What's up, yo? Hey, guys. We are Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we all are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And thank y'all for 85,000 subscribers. crazy. We are on our way. We are. On our way. We said that 2023 would be an even bigger and better year, and y'all did not disappoint. No. No, so, no, no. Yeah, so as promised, we will give y'all max speed. Yes. The max quick wit on what I lied to you, the two-hour compilation. <laughs> as we gave the choice between this and David Mitchell's rants and bursts for Boxing Day. Y'all yeah. chose that for Boxing Day, and we said we'd give you this as a 85K treat. Yes. So, so I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready. This I, I think my mind is up to speed right now. But yeah, I could be wrong. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. You never know with uh, no. with <laughs> Lee Mac. No, you like, never know. And, and, and we were talking like that's the contrast of this show is the contrast between Lee Mac and David Mitchell. It's two sides of the coin. Yeah, it's it, it, it encapul encapsulates that north south divide in in I, in, I, in I, the UK. I think so. Yes. Oh, let's enough talk. Yes. Let's, let's get to it. Three, it. two, one. <clears throat> Looking forward to this. <laughs> what does PBU stand for? Uh, PBU on the key ring? Yes. It's the place for bins, you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's a little, um, just like that. He couldn't have made that up. It's true. Whenever I eat beans on toast, I always imagine I'm a rescue helicopter, and with every forkful, I'm airlifting tiny bald men <laughs> on a raft to safety. <laughs> <laughs> Any reason you do this apart from just keeping yourself amused? It's or? that my auntie Bridget, who used to live with us, Yes. Is this going to be a tragic story? She's bald, <laughs> she was on a raft, she never survived, and it's our way of remembering her. She was on a raft with 400 bald men. Yeah. <laughs> who needed Trust rescuing. me, we all know your auntie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say raft, you mean mattress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope she's not watching. Uh, <laughs> she, busy, she, she's living. <laughs> <laughs> What was Spud's real name? Keith. Keith. <laughs> Why did you call him Spud? He always had a jacket on. What? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cat was it, Lee? Oh, it's a black one. Oh, yeah. What kind of hotel? Red. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car? Blue. <laughs> He's here for the weekend. I'd taken my wife away for a weekend in a boutique hotel in the New Forest. The old forest wasn't doing it for me. Right. <laughs> Had you got home when you discovered the cat? Yes, I'd got home and I opened up the boot to let the, uh, the wife out. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd open up the just, I, I'm just trying to imagine having Lee Mack as a dad. He, he, you would not be able to escape all the dad jokes. No. No, and I bet he's just too quick. You couldn't sneak anything by him. No, no. <laughs> you could get a word in with nope. him. Whew. Boots to get, the, uh, to get the luggage out. And there was a flattened cat. <laughs> no. What had happened is I opened up the boot of the car. I'd gone into the hotel, because I put my bag in, but my wife was chatting away to someone. I was trying to get her away. I said, come on, we should mm. probably drift off now. That's when the cat had jumped in. Mm. And you drove... Uh, Back home. Drove back home. No incident. No sound of purring or yowling that you couldn't attribute to your wife. Yeah, no. I just, <laughs> I, 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 a bit rude, David. And, uh, <laughs> and I, <laughs> a bit rude. I once went on a date with a flamenco dancer who turned out to be a man. Oh. This is, this is ringing bells for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of the time I was a flamenco dancer and I walked around. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, right? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. Accidentally mistake a flamenco dancer for the gender that you didn't think it was, you know. It's tale as old as time. Of course, of course. And it will continue to happen. Yep. Our ancestors will always have that happen to them. Cur correct. 
What? I tried to be philosophic there. Nope. I'm trying. Nope. <laughs> you can't compete with Lee Mack no, you here. Can't. Come you on. Can't. Did you make the first contact? Where was she when you asked her out for the first day? Uh, in the hotel we were staying, actually. So you just went round to her room, <laughs> you sort of tapped on the door, she got confused and started dancing. <laughs> <laughs> How are you heating up the fish slice? You could just put that on a naked flame. It's just yeah. occurred to me that it's a bit like toasting on the agar, isn't it? Because it's a hot surface. Similar. Sure, Mind you, that, that is posh. Arga, <laughs> that's a posh thing. <laughs> Suddenly realised. Have you seen an agar? Yes, yeah. I have seen an agar. <laughs> <laughs> into some very nice homes. <laughs> <laughs> he won the overall, the big prize at the end, National Pie Maker of the Year. So he won the overall award with this, like, separate... No, he didn't have the best overall. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I once livened up a lacklustre Hindu by taking my clothes off for the ladies. I don't know much about religious cultures. What is a lacklustre Hindu? <laughs> My wife's a very open-minded person. Hey, and, uh, you, you don't have to tell me about it. <laughs> 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 I come in with my little boy. Friday night tradition. We go and get fish and chips, yeah. right? Okay. I know you see your boy on a Friday night. Yeah, but he finishes. <laughs> <laughs> very quickly, name some Morris dancing equipment, please, Fern. I have the garters with the belts on. Now you're talking. I have, the... <laughs> <laughs> I have the white knickerbockers and the long socks. I have the wooden soled shoes. And I've got the big pole now. And. <laughs> 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 Lie. So, lie. 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 Uh, Lee. Lily. What? No, that's the name of your Vietnamese bride. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uncle Tony, and last year I asked to have a go on his mobility scooter, and I drove it into a pond and wrote it off. <laughs> did you buy your uncle Tony another mobility I did. scooter? Did how much was that mobility scooter? <laughs> Yes, how much was that mobility scooter? It was £1,500. For a brand new mobility a, scooter? For a new one. Yes, because it... Hang yes. on, is that right, that... Des? <laughs> <laughs> I have developed a technique to help me deal with annoying idiots. <laughs> Lee, do you want to kick this one off? <laughs> <laughs> Well, first of all, who, who do you find is an annoying idiot? I mean, what type of people? Just, you know, the GP. <laughs> you know, the general public wind me up from time to time. OK. And I really want to tell them how I feel. And instead of doing that, I, um, I scat. You do what? Whoops. <laughs> what? I, uh, I scat. Can I Can ask you... at this point? What is a scat? <laughs> do you know what a scat jazz, is? Jazz well, scatting, like yeah. isn't it? It's a jazz, the old jazz ja scat. It's, your basic, yeah. it's like, your basic jazz rap. So you must make random noises. Les, can we have a scenario now? Right? Can I, is it a that's, a, that's a very negative view of music, isn't it, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's jazz, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> so if I'm the doctor, yeah. what would annoy you if I was a doctor? Um, if you kept me waiting for too long and then, say, you come into the in the reception room and I thought I was next. Right. And I went to get up and then you picked somebody else. Right, OK, well, imagine that scenario. OK. okay. Uh, so I walk in, I'm about, you think I'm going to see, and I go, uh, Mr. Bryden, we've got the results of your test. And I go, Oh, for the bap ba dee bap ba dee la bap ba dee it's an STD. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not a bad way to control your anger. Or keep people away from you. Or keep people away. I mean, I relate to that a lot. The GP definitely uh, annoys me from time to time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's easier to say when do they, when, when don't they. When don't they. Yeah, they're always annoyed. When they're handing me free food or free beer or free... Um, other things. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just, I, yeah, scatting is, I guess, the best way out of it. It's, it's not really productive. It's a lot of energy. See, your thing is dumpy, dumpy, but productive, and dumpy. You just, you just remove yourself from the situation. <sighs> I guess so. I would run. <laughs> I would run. <laughs> you run. You, you'd scat away. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, I hate jazz. Yes, me too.
was the last time you had to employ it, Michael? Oh, I'd say... God, about two weeks ago. Yeah? What, what happened? The classic thing of the, um, you know, the tourist walking out of the, um, the department store and stopping, and I wasn't paying attention, and I walked up and they were there in front of me, and I went, oh. why did you... Da, 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 da. <laughs> and walked around and carried on walking. I don't know. Why are you getting so upset in the first place? Why don't you just be like me and just really lay back? <laughs> just get outside the department store and just stop and enjoy life. <laughs> when I've ever left a department store, I'm always sprinting. <laughs> This is Steve, and uh, we once went camping together when we were in the Scouts, and we woke up to find that someone had stolen our tent. <laughs> uh, so when was this uh, camping trip, Lee? Uh, this camping trip was, uh, oh, I would have been about 13, 12, I think, 12. Something. How old was Steve? Steve was about, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He was... he wasn't born. He was, uh, he was about, about seven, seven or eight. So you were 12 or 13. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't in the Scouts. He was just a seven-year-old you'd brought to the <laughs> He was... he was... the Cubs and the Scouts went together. He was in the Cubs, I was in the Scouts. And they, and they oh, issued oh, every Scout with, with a, a cup. cup. <laughs> Did this tent not have a built-in ground sheet? No, it did not. Because otherwise, it would have been, this is Steve and we were once kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lee is definitely the least believable, I think. Yeah, so you were quite believable. Yeah. No, I don't believe Rufus at all. Rufus has got a bit of edge to him. Steve looks so sweet and presentable, I don't think he'd be in this weird Rufus world. He does look sweet, does he? Like, looks like a little cub. Yeah. <laughs> what is the German emergency? Is it 999? <laughs> <laughs> that could cause all sorts of difficulties, could not it? Because <laughs> they're saying to the German, do you need help? And you'll say 999, and they go, oh, forget it. And they say, I didn't. <laughs> do it, Jigsaw Lee. Yeah. Do well, you... I don't, Debbie, because I've got a life, but carry <laughs> on. <Yeah. laughs> no, I was going to say, do, do you use scissors? Because that's... <laughs> A, you know I'm not that's a scissors. A <laughs> Methodist church with, that, with a yeah. bell tower. Brilliant. That's unusual, isn't it? Are you a practicing Methodist? No, or... no, no. I'm, a, I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a teenager, I used to have to butter my legs in order to squeeze into tight leather trousers. Oh. I mean, it wasn't butter actually. It was. Uh, a margarine spread of Worse. sorts. Well, we've gone from leather to lycra and butter to margarine. No, they were oh, yes. no, 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 no. They were leather effect. You didn't ask me. They, they were a sort of leather effect trouser. I can't believe it's not leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Love it. Whilst on holiday in South Africa, I had a two-minute conversation with what I thought was my wife only to discover that a small hippo had wandered into the bedroom. <laughs> Joe, you're next. I also went to the same resort and skinned a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing it tonight. <laughs> At the end of my first driving lesson, my instructor told me I'd done pretty well, but that I didn't need to make the noises of the car engine as I drove along. <laughs> Name of driving instructor, because I remember mine, Norman, and we ate Percy Pigs. I don't actually... Do you know what? I don't... Because I had two, because the first one was a friend of my dad's, and he kept shouting, don't panic. <laughs> it wasn't Clive Don, was it? <laughs> I don't know the reference. Um, he... Who's Clive Dunn? Clive Dunn played... <laughs> <laughs> Clive Dunn played You've Corporal just fallen Jones into the generation gap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this audience actually ooed the fact that Joe didn't know who Clive they were. Oh, yeah. you piece. Well, of you say they ooed, perhaps they were accelerating. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend. I, I, I forget that that both David and Lee are like in their like 50s right now because I, I guess because one any country that isn't the United States uh, 
tends to have better health care and they guess they, they, they are look a bit younger and um, also they're smiling more so i guess they look younger maybe and uh and because wealth buys less stress i guess there is that too there is that too i didn't even think about that part yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah just i was about to say does brit not crack <laughs> <laughs> oh. i'm glad you got that reference yes. And Amy, and I grossly offended her when I made a less than perfect sculpture of her head. So you went to this office to write jokes yeah. and said to your friend, would you like to come along, sit in the corner and I'll sculpt your head? I've been looking for a use for all that clay I keep in my office. <laughs> Had you just been watching a Lionel Richie video? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 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 Once, when I spotted an ex-boyfriend in a department store, I pretended to be a shop mannequin to avoid having to speak to him. Lee. Well, I know what I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Definitely. sorry, no, it's probably different. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's a long time ago, early in the 60s. Surely you weren't old enough to shop on your own in the early 60s, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> So gallant. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I believe you. Uh, oh! <laughs> I've said sorry to mannequins before now in the in the department stores. I've yeah, but what were you doing to them? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Lee? Is it the uh, truth? Warren, what do you think? Do you think there's? Any... I, you know, I think she's telling the truth. Really? Do you think? Yeah, I, 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 the I, thing for me is, if you're within six or eight foot of an ex. And you don't recognise it because you're static. Uh, it just seems. I wouldn't know. I've never been allowed within eight feet of my own. <laughs> <laughs> ah! To me, they look more like uh, roller coaster people, don't they? That's sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's why her face is always like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the joke. But was, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a visual. It was a visual. You know. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm shit at time travel. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll tell you what, though, I'm shit at time travel. <laughs> Last year. I'm shit at time travel, too. I... Are you? I don't know. I mean... My mind isn't functioning right. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I'm trying to keep up with him. He's quick, man. He's, He's real so quick. quick. And my mind is like hurting. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh yeah, that's right. It's morning. By the way, go mock speeds. So I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> oh, uh. yes. Here, at a party, I shared a jacuzzi with three of the eggheads. Do the eggheads are they only allowed in a jacuzzi for three minutes? <laughs> 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 so, uh, Jermaine, what do you think? I'm going to say... Is this a musical? <laughs> <laughs> this is Wally, and during one of his driving lessons, I crashed into the co-op. The manager of the co-op, who came out with presumably the same hairstyle... <laughs> <laughs> how did he, how did he react? Maybe Alan tried to blame Wally, pointed, but there was like 20, 30 <laughs> blokes, and you had to work out where Wally was. <laughs> This is Wally. He's the crane driver who once let me sit in his cabin 50 feet above my house. Oh. Well, the thing is, he didn't really want to do it. So I did my best to persuade him. How did you persuade him? You, what, you put a white hanky over his mouth and <laughs> <laughs> You said, smell that, and he woke up in the cabin. <laughs> let me simply say that money changed hands. Oh. And how much did he have to pay you? <laughs> yes. So did you both go up to the cabin? He he said I had to go first just in case I missed my footing. And he said he went up right behind you. Not right. Wally, behind you me. pervert. <laughs> <laughs> so I lived by the river. <laughs> yeah. And there was a duckling uh, in the front of our house. Let's call it the driveway. Oh right, right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say driveway because I start making a mean all showbiz that I've got a car. <laughs> Anyway, so there's the duckling, Which right? part of the drive? Was it down by the gates or where it sweeps up around the lawn? 
I don't know, I'd got over the moat, to be honest with you. I said, this would be quite good again, too. I reckon I know how I was thinking about it. Who was the trumpeter? It was Nobby Solano. And you say this was Nobby Solero? Nobby Solero Nobby is a very Solano. adult ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> know that they're Interpol. So I was just paranoid. I couldn't understand it. But when my dad rang me yes. to say, I think you're being followed by Interpol. No, OK. <laughs> what on earth made him think that? Because some bloke he knows tipped him off. Some bloke he knows <laughs> tipped him off about Interpol? <laughs> <laughs> what line of work is your dad in? Uh, he's a businessman. Oh, he oh, sounds suspicious as a bit vague, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The talented yeah. Mr. Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> I recently helped Bruce Forsyth hang a picture in his bathroom. Did you do the adjustments and he was just stood behind going, Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can smell if there is a dead fly in the room. What? What? <laughs> uh, can I just say, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I can smell a dead fly in the room. What does the dead fly smell of? It's a, it's a smell that I, I wouldn't want to describe to a friend. Try. Imagine you're a wine connoisseur, right. but it's the smell of an ebb I'm fly. getting... Get, yeah, uh, what are you getting? I'm getting a, I'm getting a bit of wing. I'm getting, <laughs> uh, I'm getting another wing. Uh, <coughs> and uh, how many wings have flies? Is it two or four? Four. Four. Another wing. <laughs> and a th uh, no, wait, wait. There's only three wings. I, I, I think I know how this fly died. Um, <laughs> You've not really described the smell there. You, no, the, you've, you described said you, the, you've described the body parts of a fly <laughs> while you're making sniffing noises. Well, I can't, you know, you're, a, you're I'm a professional, you're an amateur. How, I'm trying to say it in layman's terms. Well, <laughs> I, earlier on, I was, uh, hmm? I came to see you in your dressing room to say hello, and I had a little look in the window, and only now I'm thinking, there was a dead fly in there, and you never mentioned it. Before you came, and I went, hmm, smell of fly. But I found that that, that that smell was soon overpowered, you Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You're young, you're quite trendy, the hair's forwards, which to me says you're quite trendy. <laughs> I, Don't like, listen to her, Matt. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> oh! I once punched Muhammad Ali in the face. His, his wife was there and, and his manager, and, and I asked for a picture. Muhammad mumbled something uh, like this, mm, mm. and uh, that's good mumble. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the mumble in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Deborah Meaden, you're up next. Oh. <clears throat> Bit pointless pointing them on, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I recently had my house exercise after several weird occurrences spooked me. Uh, no, I don't know exactly what he did because we had to leave the house. We spent a bit of time in the house and then we had to leave the house. Can I ask you what they charged? <clears throat> he didn't charge anything. Really? No. It's a good job because if you couldn't afford to pay the bill, they'd come back and repossess your home. Very nice. Well done. They'd come back and repossess your house. Well done. <laughs> that, that's something that... <laughs> Smart. <laughs> it's, it's, oh my god. That one was a, a slow burn for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Hi. It could only be used in this one very specific incident. Yes. <laughs> they cut back and represent our house. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm taking tomorrow off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm your look of pride, are <laughs> Jimmy, I lost my virginity at 26. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I, c c yeah, we can yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah, we're all, we're all, we're all. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, we can, we can kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay, is it true? true? Uh, well, no, no, no. <laughs> that was the quickest. That was no, the no, 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 quickest. <laughs> I love that. That like, they're just assuming. They're just like, yeah, it's true. I don't need any sword from you. Got no, it. No. True. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh god, I love that. I mean, when your laugh is like, ha 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 ha, yeah, then yeah, you probably have a hard time uh, <laughs> getting some. <clears throat> oh god. Yeah, yeah. For, for, for the sake of you know decency, go on, tell us all about it. Uh, <laughs> well, I was very religious growing up. Very religious until I was about 26. David, do you believe this? Yeah, I'm buying it. Yeah. And uh, the That's rest what of he said, team. actually. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there was Michael, um, Billy the Pigeon. <laughs> Gentle <laughs> Ken. Billy the Pigeon? Gentle Ken, yeah. Why is he called Billy the Pigeon? Oh, he's found his way home. No, he's a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> This is the bottle of hand gel I used to wash my hands before I handle my main bottle of hand gel. <laughs> you know how you can do it. You know, if I'm sitting at a table and I meet somebody, I can do it down here. That, that's <laughs> worse. <laughs> that's definitely worse. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you how all this started, and I think there is some... <laughs> Sort it of started when you picked up that box and opened it. <laughs> there is some sort of trauma that I've got, and it was from a time being in a gent's toilet. Don't. Um, <laughs> and what happened was, I have trouble reaching things in the toilets, you see. And, and one occasion I went. What are you trying to reach for? Went over. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of snake was this? Did it have a flat? Uh, we, we, we need more Warwick Davis on we this do. channel. We do. Haven't had him since uh, the third series of Indiana Broad. I know it's been a, it's been a while, but but he's. Have you seen the new Willow? No, I haven't. Me neither. No, no. I mean, uh, but I, as I know, you've never seen any Harry Potter films, and no. I've, you know, I've I've enjoyed him on there. <laughs> Cobra. Aura. Well, I don't remember the name of the snake. Not the name. I don't want to know if it's called Betty or something. No, I, I, it's not that I don't remember it. I can picture it clearly now. Describe yeah. the snake. Right. No legs. <laughs> no legs. Uh, it seems to be all tail. Yeah. Colour. So what colour? I don't remember. It was a it sort was of greeny colour. Greeny colour snake. Green, a, a, a grass rat. snake. <laughs> Charm, the magnificent grass <laughs> snake. <laughs> Over a foot in length. <laughs> Fearsome reptile has ever been seen on the dusty streets of Morocco. Because yeah, what happened was a man no ran at us with a snake, starts hitting us with this snake like that, <laughs> and we all turn to each other and go, "Oh, what kind of snake is that? <laughs> <laughs> when were you in Morocco? What's going on? We went to Morocco in uh, 1989. Who, who's who's we? we? We, you and... We, us three. Oh, three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's me and three friends. There's no point saying who, you won't know who they are. Why did the snake attack you? Because we were uh, taking photographs. You know what, I don't need to know, you know what a photograph is. Richard, we've taken a photograph, right? Yeah. And, um... <laughs> what, was the, what was the song? What was, what was the song? I don't know, I wasn't there. <laughs> uh, was... So you spent three hours on the Asda shuttle bus, on your own? Yes. Well, no, there was other passengers, but I wasn't with anybody else. You, yeah, we, you, yeah, you were... All life is there on the Asda shuttle bus. Well, no, you just you... sit there and watch the world no, it's get not on all... with their shopping. It's not all life. You, you wouldn't be on it, would you? No, I no. don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ro Ronnie... Oh, sorry. I think Ronnie wouldn't be on it before David wouldn't be on it. Oh, no. God, no. no. Can I just it? say, I'd be on it. Happily. You'd be driving it. I'd be. <laughs> You should be on the Asda shuttle bus because you're quite small and every little helps. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's Tesco. Is that, the, is that one of the? Is that one of the the two Ronnies? Yeah, I, I think it, I think it was. It was one of the two Ronnies. Yeah. Got good, it. Good eye. Good I'm eye. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. And Asda and Tesco, those are two shops. I'm trying to. Yes. Yes. In my own way. You're my kind of lady. <laughs> oh, God. You're saying there's no chance of it being wrong. It's unlikely, right. but I'm not saying it's definite, right? I want that to be true more than any other story I've ever heard in my life. Because that's what I want to see Ronnie doing in the big chair next time. Uh, you're, you're not going to believe it. I can't do the voice. All right, I can't oh. do the voice. And if I could, I wouldn't keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us an impression of how. Well, I could try and do an impression, but Obviously I find, I find impressionism is for the lowest form of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sadie. She's my children's nanny, and the first time I met her, I ran over her foot. 
Do yeah. you know Lee? Uh, Have you been to his I've, house? I, I, I can just about remember his name. <laughs> Do you know his nanny? No. Okay. Because if I knew Lee's nanny, I'd either have gone, that's Lee's nanny, or that's just point not out, Lee's nanny. She's so my, no. yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not, she's my children's also. nanny. I'm not a complete moron. <laughs> <laughs> she's my nanny. <laughs> uh, now, this, this running over the foot business, yeah. uh, that was the first time you met her. Correct. Uh, and the circumstances were? Uh, I was in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and she was on the driveway. Correct. So what happened immediately after the foot running over moment? Oh! Can you, can you, can you roll that forward? Oh! That was my foot! <laughs> you can see she's laughing quite a lot now. It's just like, I have to laugh, he's my employer. Yeah. <laughs> but this wasn't as it were how you met her. You didn't run over her foot and say, you look like you might be a good nanny. <laughs> The time she'd arrived at the house, I hadn't met, I'd never met her before, because so, so my wife... Your wife had interviewed her and Yeah, and I can said, finish my own sentences, yeah, yeah. I'm really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, my wife had, uh, had, had interviewed, actually, you're correct, yes. <laughs> are, they, are they little stickers? Yeah. Sorry? Oh, yeah. Are there two oh, yeah. colours of stickers? There are two colours of stickers. What do they represent? The orange ones. Th these are the orange ones, the yeah. orange ones. Yeah. And I've also done blue ones. But why? Why? So I could differentiate between the two types but of service stations. Why? What? I'm about to tell you. OK, well, come on. Just give me a second. <laughs> <coughs> sometimes Lee likes to finish his own sentences, sometimes not. <laughs> ah. Basically, do two differentiating uh, service stations. <coughs> I use orange if I am heading north, and blue if I'm heading south. Or, if I'm heading west, I also go for blue. In east, I go for orange. Well, you have headed north a lot more than you've headed <laughs> west or east. I mean, how did you get back here? <laughs> There's about, they're actually equal if you count them. It looks like there are loads more orange. Yeah. <laughs> You know when you said that there were about the same number of orange and blue? There's seven blues and 33 oranges. <laughs> You're going to be laughing on the other side of your face when in the next round I say, I am colourblind. <laughs> so, David, it's time to take a guess. Aberdeen service station doesn't ring true. It's definitely... I wonder, with the Aberdeen one, that's right outside Aberdeen. So you, stop, you stopped at a service station about six minutes after departing. <laughs> if it's on empty, I stop and fill it up. Certainly, Which 33 I'll, I'll... times out of 40 happens happens when heading north. <laughs> yes, it's uphill. You could... <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep with any other animals while you were there? <laughs> A genuine no, I had a bath with a penguin. You Ob did, obviously. <laughs> was he in the bath and you got in unsolicited, or...? No, he was in the bath he was already cold in cold water. Right. So I had to get the penguin out of the cold water. And did you pick up that penguin? <laughs> 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 Having recently got into Eastern cuisine, this Christmas sees the launch of my new cookbook... <laughs> <laughs> Lee Max, walk around the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Lie! <laughs> Lie! Gonna walk around the clock. I bet you he can't even cook a bowl of cereal. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe you could cook one. Definitely could cook one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, w I could cook. Actually, I can't. But I could definitely cook a bowl of cereal. Yeah. That's, <laughs> as long as it's done wrong, I could do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, ma make a bowl of cereal. Like, how long do I have to set the microwave for? Like, what? Yes. Negative one minute. <laughs> Negative one minute. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Clip that, send it to your friends. You could save a life. <laughs> yeah. You work in conjunction with a proper chef. Of course, I was helped a little bit. Who? By whom? It's a friend of mine. Works at the Chinese restaurant. What's the name of this person? You wouldn't know him. Well, give it a try. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Jenkins. <laughs> I've been going into the Chinese restaurant a lot recently. And I've been really sort of learning about it and savouring the dishes. And, and I keep saying, Steve, this is fantastic. What is this? And then he says something in Chinese, which I don't understand. And then I said, Steve Jenkins is Chinese. He was adopted uh, when he was a kid. Taken <laughs> to China, but he was an English baby. Yeah. This is a true story. They took uh, they took Steve Jenkins, 
Um, they, they adopted they, him. They adopted Even him. though he was a baby, he was known as Steve. Then <laughs> <laughs> he was called Baby Steve. So this this Chinese couple adopt <laughs> Baby Steve. Stephen. <laughs> 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 it's his full name. It's called Steve Jenkins. They, they don't change his name. <laughs> well, they couldn't change his name. <laughs> they couldn't they could continue they to call him. Yeah, because Steve Steve he's a clearly English baby. They knew he was going to grow up looking Western. Was he? Was he the only Steve Jenkins in his school? <laughs> to train more on my ability to cook and less on my ability to understand Are the basic any... systems of adopting children and taking them to China. <laughs> How did you write a book with a man that only spoke Cantonese? Well, we just we had an interpreter. A Chinese fella called Brian Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're incredible, man. <laughs> incredible as in not credible. <laughs> <laughs> so I light the burner. Uh -uh. That's the noise. Uh, heat the oil, put the oil down. Peanut oil, actually. Don't use olive oil, mm. peanut oil. So put the peanut oil Sounds around. Sounds delicious. The tr trick with the wok is not to put the oil at the bottom of the pan. It's to dribble it round the edge. You know the way you say, same way you do a toilet duck? Yeah. <laughs> All the way around the edge and watch it slightly go down. And the, and the publisher said, probably don't use that analogy. Uh, yeah. No, no. That's what's supposed to happen after the Chinese food, not before. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> and, oh. and by the way, I would just like to point out that when I, where I grew up in North Carolina, um, my neighbors were actually Chinese immigrants, and their names were uh, Richard and Alyssa, not... Tracks. It tracks. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would... I, that's my first guess. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, like, I mean, they had Chinese names, but I, I, I don't know... I never really asked why they adopted uh, American names. Maybe to because they're easier to, to pronounce. But well, yeah, I, there is some credibility to that. I will give Lee Mack some credibility on that. I'm just having trouble with the fact that he cooks. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a dude that would cook. I, I wouldn't buy his cookbook. No. Well, I mean, I wouldn't buy a cookbook. Ah, uh, you could even go further. I wouldn't buy a book. Right, so, right, right. Let alone cookbook, let alone his cookbook. Yeah, and I've, from all the stuff that I've, we've tried to look for for Lee Mack, when we type Lee Mack into YouTube search engine, all we see is comedy and his stuff on other stuff. We don't see no recipes. No recipes. So, I'm going to say lie, yeah. even though we're not really even playing the game right playing, now. Yeah, even though we're not playing the game, but I, I'm with you, I'm with you, Spence. Thanks. <laughs> Hosted the British Sausage Awards. How many categories yeah. were there in the British Sausage Awards? Nicest, longest, fattest, tastiest. Whoa. Or... So, well, this is saving me one pound fifty a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm haunted by a recurring dream in which I'm a potato. <laughs> Stream. I've had it. He only has it when he's mashed. <laughs> <laughs> we never established just why David was going to Corsica. On his own. Was it Club 18 to 30 again? <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was a holiday. I was going on holiday with a group of friends, but I could only go a day after everyone else. They made those <laughs> rules, did they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Julian Lloyd Webber and I are both in Manchester. When did you meet? In the car park. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a true Welsh girl. No, the, the <laughs> car park. <laughs> B. Oh, so, uh, okay, okay. Rob laughed at that because he's Welsh too. Yeah. Uh, that took me a second. That took me a second. I had to get that in there. What? B. B. Will you please give me the names of all your ex-girlfriends <laughs> and make the acronym Bermuda as quickly as possible, please. <laughs> OK. Brenda. Oh. Brenda. <laughs> Super. Brenda <laughs> is still as popular a name as ever. <laughs> uh, e. Sorry? Ethel. I'm helping you. What's the next one? Uh, Ethel. E. Is it Ethel? No, Enid. it's not Ethel. Enid. No, it's Emma. not Enid. Have another guess. <laughs> Erin. Sorry? Erin. 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 OK. What about you? You're you, right. This is the weird one. This is the weird one, right? Yeah. They're all a bit weird. N not actually her name, right, but in my nickname for her, Yuna. Yuna. What was her real name? Sally. 
<laughs> Why do you call Sally Yuna? Because Yuna Stubbs played Aunt Sally in uh, Words of Gummidge. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's well, very good. Deep. That's very good. He's good. Yeah, Dave, Dave, experimental year. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy days, Dave. Happy days. Dave. Dave, the D, that's what you're saying. The D I'm not, is Dave. Of course I'm not. Okay. Delia. And A was Alex. Oh. That certainly is a serendipitous <laughs> series. Yeah. Yeah. If that wasn't serendipitous, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> What was, what was the M again? Reason. What? The M again? Molly! And the E was... What? <laughs> <laughs> the E... I'll tell you exactly what the, the E was. The E was... <laughs> It was, in fact. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> He's stalling! <laughs> there we go. What's and the U! And I the love you. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the U! The U! Sally! Real name? Sally. Yes. Come on, Lee, you know this. The D. Give me a D! The D was... Mummy! Deidre! <laughs> Deidre! <laughs> the E! Give me an E! Erin! The B! Give me a B! That was a long time ago. Lisa! <laughs> And the R. And the R was uh, reg Regine. Regine? <laughs> Little Regine. Yeah. Well, is that I... a name? Regine. It's a name, isn't it? Tell me it's a name. <laughs> Regine's a name. Where is it? And it's a name, isn't it? I went out with a girl called Cupboard for three weeks. <laughs> Not a joke. Jenny where did Cupboard come in the Bermuda <laughs> list? Oh, Bermuda she, she, was, she was before I, I invented the acronym system. Sorry, it was a system. It, was, it didn't happen by accident. Uh, you, you were seeking out people. <laughs> With these letters, what was it about the island of Bermuda? Well, it's, it's, you it's because all my ex-girlfriends went missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! When you... How did we not see that coming? Bermuda. Yeah. Some of them went missing. <laughs> that one was so <laughs> obvious. I don't know why it took me so long. I don't know, man. It took me way too long. Yeah, yeah. Realize when the two of you realized that uh, you were going to have to share a bed together. Mm -hmm. Did you have a kind of a negotiation? I have never been to bed with anyone where negotiations have been involved. That's not completely <laughs> true. <but> <laughs> when I was a child, the only thing that would get me to sleep was my parents reading me the takeaway menu from our local Chinese restaurant, the Flying Chopstick. I knew yeah. the menu back to front because they did. It, they had to do it so well, often. Well, that's just Chinese. It would be that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> This is Carlos. He came to my house to deliver a pizza, but we ended up building a bed together. <laughs> so he knocks on the door. When he knocks on the door, did you immediate? Did you have a plan that when yeah. the pizza man comes round, you're going to ask him, or was it a spur of the moment thought? Well, the body of the last pizza man was beginning to smell. <laughs> <laughs> You murder one pizza man, then you have to murder another pizza man. That's yeah. the domino effect. I, I, the bed was. <laughs> 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 This is Kevin. He has worked as my bum double. Could, could Kevin turn around so we could see his bottom? Yes, Kevin, would, would you turn around, please, Kevin, so we could see your bottom? Thank you. And would you, ah. would you like Lee to, to... Could you, Lee, please stand up and Lee, turn around so we could see your bottom? Lee, would you come and stand? Of course, no problems yes. at all. <laughs> so, can, can you turn around and lift your jacket up? This is like a really strange uh, <laughs> police lineup, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, Lee's bottom is about half a size bigger. You okay. what? <laughs> <laughs> Has this episode gone out, Lee? Or is I it don't know, but if, if, the, if the question that you asked about was getting up doesn't get in, I'll just think I'm having a wee break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's flip this for our uh, our female audience here. <laughs> Take a good look at that, ladies. Come on. Oh, it does look like they're having a pee break. It does. Like anyone yeah. that came into this show after a commercial, like, what? What's going on? God. Satisfied. <laughs> this is my monkey, Elsie. She watches over me while I sleep. 
We're just out of interest. It's a completely separate subject. Does anyone know <laughs> that Camilla wanted to be called? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. What? Oh, oh my Ta God. Taxidermied animals freak me out. Yes. Like, I... Especially taxidermied ones that are wrong. Yeah. There's some horrid-looking <laughs> taxidermy jobs out there. Yeah. Like, if I go into, like, a restaurant down south and they've got a taxidermied deer head on the wall, I immediately walk out. And I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope. I'd rather eat McDonald's out of the trash can. Just taxidermied cashiers at McDonald's. Ta ta oh, fuck you, That's man. what I'm saying. They're all, like, ugh. Taxidermied? Yes, they're all weird looking. McDonald's. <laughs> and give me a weird looking animal. Then a weird weird look anyway. Now I'll never be able to eat Big Macs again. Yes. <laughs> I mean there's several reasons not to eat a yeah. Big Mac, but now I've got <laughs> yeah. one. Just another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. In Queens. <laughs> God, just, yeah, throw it open. Just have a discussion. What do you think? I didn't mean the monkey with the crown. When filming is over for the day, Lord Sugar and I sometimes wind down by playing ping pong on the boardroom table. Where do you keep the bats? Do you, are they under the table under, during the... Under the table. She's left now, isn't she? Under the table. <laughs> Margaret. Margaret's no bat. Because he swims in our local pool, my husband and I play a game over text called I've Just Been in the Water with Trevor McDonald. Are you concerned that <laughs> he's going to watch his programme and, yeah. and this is now going to be awkward? It's going to be out. I am a bit concerned. I tell you, the person who will be really gutted is my dad who says hello to him in the supermarket. So, uh, he's got his own game going on with your mum, has There's a swimming pool, a fireworks <laughs> shop, and a supermarket. It's a lovely place. What's yeah. his stroke? You know, he don't he alternates. He alternates between what? Between breaststroke and front crawl. See, I, which do you age? prefer? Which way? I'm afraid I have to do breaststroke. You're a breaststroke. I, just, okay. I can't well, get you. You've got to keep your head above the water, haven't you, to look out for newsreaders? <laughs> <laughs> It is quite odd to throw things, but actually, in a way, having a pen and paper next to your bed, <laughs> I would say is odder. I'd be more freaked out like it was some sort of marking system. <laughs> is that why there's pen and paper next to the beds in hotels? <laughs> <laughs> it's in case people want to mark each other. It's not just for countdown days. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you did it? Do you remember? No, no I, was, I was just... <laughs> It's an odd moment, that wasn't it? <laughs> First of all, we're trying to work out which of the two of you she's looking at. <laughs> if indeed, was it both? What, what, what happened there is I considered saying something and then stopped myself, I thought, before anyone had noticed I'd considered and saying I, something. And I, for comedic right, but, effect, but, pretended that we were sleeping together. Yeah. Oh. Trust me, we knew it was for comedic effect. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I £500, quite a lot of money back then. It was. Where an, did you get £500 from? I inherited it from my granddad, oh. who reached the age of 100. Oh. And I your, thought that would be an appropriate thing to your do. Your granddad was 100 by, before you were 18. <laughs> <laughs> was your dad when you were 18? <laughs> Sorry? When you were 18. <laughs> When you were 18, your grandfather was 100. Yes. yes. No. So he yes. was 82. Your grandfather was 82 when you were born, right? Can we stop calling him Grandad and give him his proper name of Step Grandad? <laughs> <laughs> Step oh, Grandad. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Just for respect for the dead. <laughs> he was 200 yeah, years old. He was your step grandfather. But well, yeah, still, but you I still decided that after your grandfather died, your grandmother married a much, much older man. <laughs> She was very old when she had my... Yeah. My why, did you, why did how you old, decide... How old was your grandmother when she had your dad? She 71? was... 71? <laughs> she, she was 45 when she had my granddad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a weird family, I'm not going to lie. He, was, he won the overall, the big prize at the end. National pie maker of the year. So he won the overall award? Were there, like, separate... No, he didn't have the best overall. <laughs> In nightclubs, in order to impress the ladies, I used to break into my special catwalk move. 
You mean like a model, or were you on all fours and weeing? <laughs> Swivel your oh, face. It's very I can swivel it's my face. Really? So, I mean, that's swivelling it, isn't it? No. That's surely swivelling so that's your head. That's bad. Swivelling that's bad. So, so your swivel face you... swivels when you swivel your no, head. No, no, no. The no, head's no, the no, thing no, your face no, no. is on. Your head does need to stay still yeah. while the face moves yeah, yeah. if you're going to do it. What you're asking for <laughs> would require surgery. <laughs> that's what the women used to say when he used to shut up. <laughs> Do you think it's the truth, then? But he hasn't necessarily done it for the reasons he's saying he's done it. Men are so indecisive. Let's just go with the truth. I'm not sure about that. Let's go with the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I was gutted when I first saw Rob Brydon's small man in a box routine, as for years I've been entertaining my pals with my own man trapped in my mouth. <laughs> I think the only way we can really get a grip on this <coughs> is is if you were to give us a little something. Yeah, on you've got to got to give us a sample. <laughs> yeah. Let's have some water. You know it's oh, like Rob. Careful, he'll drown. <laughs> <laughs> At school, I was given the nickname the Charmer because I was the only one who could console the school snake whenever it got agitated. Why did your school what? go for a snake as opposed to, like, a mouse yeah. or some such? Oh, it had a mouse as well, but it was in there with the snake. <laughs> <laughs> no! This was during snake studies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the PE teacher called it. Um, I have a 40% stake in a prize-winning racing pigeon. Yeah. I don't think lady pigeons do the racing because they would be pregnant some of the time. Right. I'll tell you what, she better not be. Uh, <laughs> it was only a cuddle, wasn't it, Richard? <laughs> this is Ian, and to frighten a teacher, we once hid a ram inside a classroom cupboard. Um, oh. Right, well, Carol, let's start with the, with the ram in the cupboard. Um, oh, the old Dave Mitchell chat-up <laughs> line. <Yeah. laughs> I once found my postman's finger. Mm. Uh, who phoned 999 and said, I've got the postman's finger? This <laughs> 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 is a good point, Mob, because I, I did have that you hear question. That? Good point. <laughs> I, I like the postman. <laughs> good point. I know. Oh. I got it. I was wondering when the joke was coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the problem with postal jokes. It's always the next day when you get it. <laughs> So you actually saw the lorry flatten the cat and then you had to go and tell the neighbour? Uh, yeah. Did you, you kill the cat? I didn't. I just, I you was say you didn't kill the cat. You might have been partly responsible because you were there dressed as a cat when it happened. It might have been the driver of the truck. I dressed as a cat. I has, just... <laughs> has looked over and gone, size of that cat. <laughs> you know, the little cat crossed in the road has gone, is that your mummy? <laughs> two incidents combined, you've killed little oh. Jennifer to give her her full name. <laughs> Did you pick the cat up oh, and take it to the neighbours, or did you just point to the cat and say, that's where your cat is? <clears throat> no. uh, I, didn't, I didn't pick it up. I went back into my house, I lived next door, and... Did you go through the front door, or...? <laughs> 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 when you realised you had your makeup on still at home? My, which my wife pointed out to me. I came home and I said, oh, this dreadful thing's just happened. And my wife said, you know that you've still got your face painted like a kitten? And I said, oh, no. <laughs> did you and your wife look at each other in shock and just feel terrible, or did you both instantly start laughing? She laughed immediately. I'm... She's an awful woman, though. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Ignore the Irish man. <laughs> you're the best female truck driver in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Mark. Gene, Gene. You know that is furballs. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Rodney. I was so excited to see him driving my old car that I gave him a cheery honk and he drove into a hedge. <laughs> oh, so no. what happened? Did you then get out of the car and? Well, I, yeah, I, I felt very guilty. Stopped the car. And I got out and I said, I'm, and he went, "What are you doing?" And I, I said, "I'm." I'm really sorry that we honked. What, the reason I honked was because you are, we, this used to be our car. Yeah. You're driving our old car. <laughs> At what point did he say, but why have you got a cat's face on? I know. <laughs> yeah. How do you behave if you see a man and he's going out with a girl you used to go out with? But... <laughs> yeah. We're not talking about big numbers here. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever a nickname was, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> this is Edward. I once dressed up as his wife <laughs> so that his son would think that he'd seen his mum in the audience at the school play. Did he notice your beard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. I said that. Now, as luck would have it, I don't know what his wife does, but she has a beard. <laughs> I know she works in a circus. <laughs> but I don't know exactly what she does. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I was very well dodged, Lee. <laughs> why, why wasn't she there? Well, something to do with work, something got... got, got What's happened. her work? I didn't get a chance to get into too many details. Ed Edward rang in a panic. Absolutely panic anyway. What's, what's, what's her job? What's the wife's job? <laughs> yes. I actually don't know his wife very well. But do you, you know, know him? When, so, but he, I know he, Edward, yeah. You're the first person he'd call, though, but you don't know his... That's right, because no, me no. and him do lots of things behind his wife's back, and he knows that... <laughs> so he rang you up? Yeah. And what did he say? He was panicking, though. Lee! I went, what? He said, she's not turned up again. I said, who? He said, my wife. I said, what does she do for a living? He said, not now. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me that it's highly likely that pigeons, like any other sort of bird, are gonna have regional accents. What? <laughs> there we are. I love the fact that, you know, how much they patronise me on this show. We're 4 nil down, and yeah. I'm thinking, give Lee a chance, ask him a question about pigeons. <laughs> Oh, it's more than that. That's your dad filmed two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's dead. <laughs> oh. Was he dead two weeks ago? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't, actually, no. Right. Fine. Yeah. Good point, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> as, you, as you'd know if you're an amputee, you can still get an itch in the bit of you that's been cut off. You're gonna have to work on your catchphrases, David. <laughs> Hey. This is John, and that he's the pretty... dude. What? 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 guy. What? guy. What? 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 This is John, and he is the previous owner of my house, who still pops round with his deck chair so he can sit in my garden on sunny days. Uh, this is John. He was the first person ever to have a drink uh, at the Queen Vic, and the first person ever to have a curry at my restaurant, the Argy Bargy. Can I just check something? What? Is he the first in every... Well, he's not. He's the bloke who comes around my house and sits in the garden. But if he wasn't... <laughs> is he... Is he the Right? <laughs> Where is... to play yourself? Wow, he, he definitely <laughs> played himself. He, he <laughs> forgot that he's a captain of his own team. Yeah. He's been doing this so many seasons. <laughs> How do you forget? I love that. You gotta stick to your story. <laughs> where, to, where to break it? Where to break the facade? Wow. Oh, man. I'm going to sit in my garden for a minute, and he is, but yeah. imagine he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you're telling the truth. It's a great this is one hell of a ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is John Charlie's dustbin dad, Nina's EastEnders extra, or Lee's friend with a deck chair? Do you watch EastEnders? Do you recognise this guy? <laughs> <laughs> has anybody, has anybody been in my garden? <laughs> <laughs> Every Sunday, I treat myself to a relaxing bath with three squirts of furry liquid in it. <laughs> Why only on a Sunday? You shower the rest of the week and bath on a well, Sunday? Well, I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with an all-over flannel wash. <laughs> <laughs> Under the armpits on a Monday, down below on a Tuesday, <laughs> feet on a Wednesday, knees on a Thursday. This is like a really dirty version of a Craig David song. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, back in the day, mm -hmm. when eBay was pretty new, uh, I thought I'd have a little go. Mm -hmm. And I quite like vintagey stuff and old clothes, although when they delivered, it's not quite as good because they always smell a bit musty and have an air of dead people. But I like the <laughs> idea. Yeah. Um, and... Did you get that from eBay? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Why were you with Mary and why was Mary not with her owners? My next door neighbours, uh, they went away to a wedding, a mm -hmm. human wedding, I don't know if you've heard of them. <laughs> 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 they, asked, they asked me and my wife uh, to look after to ma little Mary. So the dog came round to your house. Well, no, we picked him up because he doesn't know the way. Okay. <laughs> so, is Mary male? Let's call him a he. Yeah. What? Do you always call Mary he? Well, yeah, no, sorry, she. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I was going to say. My husband Tara sorts it all out. Right? <laughs> what happened then? My, my wife went to bed and the kids were asleep, so it's just me and Mary. You know, I was watching the TV. Oh, and all right, but we, we have to, we have to yes. flip the screen. For Our, pup, puppers. Yes. All you dog lovers out there. Two, take, take a second. Three, yes. two, one. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Gotta love the dogs. Exactly. Had to get that in there. Yep. She was fine. She was, she was happy just sort of lying in front of the fire. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it started. What? The program. It was brilliant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Phoned up my, uh, my neighbour who was at the wedding and yeah. I said, look, Mary's pining. She said, have you tried everything? I said, I've done everything. I've taken my foot off her tail. I've... <laughs> Where was the swimming pool? It was uh, at the leisure centre. All oh, right. Where was the leisure centre? It's next to the swimming pool. <laughs> it was my local leisure centre. OK. Did anyone see your genitalia? Uh, four people looked, but no one saw it. <laughs> <laughs> This is my d Must have been a cold <laughs> day. Yeah. Oh my god, they finally have this. I need to know what the fuck this is. <laughs> from the, uh, it was from the last one we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Let me back it up. <laughs> this is my dibber. I donated it to the British Lawnmower Museum, where it is now a permanent exhibit. <laughs> right. uh, David, what is a dibber? What's a dibber? Uh, a dibber? That's a good question, David. <laughs> and would you believe me if I was to say I don't know? But it's a... it's a go... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> I'll mind it for you. That's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's many of these okay, that yeah. <laughs> It's, 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 it's to do with gardening. <laughs> so what does your dibber do? Pardon? What does your dibber do? Are you, are you Fred Flintstone? Answer <laughs> <laughs> the question, what does your dibber do? <laughs> How did you... What does your dibber do? Yep. <sighs> God. <laughs> dude is too, he's too quick, man. Oh mm -hmm. my God, dude. Yeah, you you can't oh. get anything past him. Oh my god. <laughs> His brain, Lee Mack's brain, must be like on par with like a Charlie Sheen. Uh, it, uh, without yeah. the cocaine. And it's just like you put if you if you were to take it out of his head and put it in your own, you'd be like, oh five yeah, seconds later, can't handle it. Yeah, what? I just I can't it's too quick. It's yeah. wild. <laughs> it's wild. Like half the stuff I'm getting after the fact. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, do you need me to Could pause you? a little bit more? No, we're good. But it's like, how do you even prep for this kind of show? Like, their minds must be just, I don't know, man. Because if I knew I was going to be on a show with him, my mind would have to be so sharp. It's it's good improv skills. Like, I would have to go back and see if he was ever on whose line. Be, I, 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 I don't remember all the comedians from there yeah i bet he would be awesome at it yeah yeah or at least like on mock the week because that's yes. that's an improv kind of show too did your dibber come to be in the british lawnmower museum um i'll tell you inspector morse <laughs> have you ever been to southport my hometown uh, i have yes oh great <laughs> <laughs> can i start again <laughs> right i have never been to the british lawnmower <laughs> Online. I was online. But it is in Southport. It is in is Southport, yeah. that's true. And I did see it online. What did you put into Google that that came up? Uh, well, you don't want to know that. <laughs> but I noticed on the website there was a bit that said that the, the tools of the rich and famous. Famous tools, that's what I typed in. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up the phone, I phoned them up, I said, I'd like to donate something. They said, what have you got? I said, uh, Dibba. <laughs> you knew its name? Well, actually, I, I yes. You knew its name, but you didn't know what it was for. That's actually not true. I okay. said... So what did you say? I took advice before the phone call. From whom? From who? 
From who? I'm not doing it if you put an M at the end. All right. Oh, <laughs> we go again. Who's putting the M at the end? Do you know what I mean? No one yeah. anymore. Who no did one. you take advice from? And again, to this day, we will back up when we said, <laughs> yeah. if you put an M on the end of W-H-O, <laughs> you can't mess with us. No, I'm just, even though it is correct, as we've learned in all the comments, I don't care. It's still wrong. I don't me. care. To, me to, and to, my to family, who? Yes. We, we're, we're a no M household here. <laughs> no M. You, you take that M and get out of our house. Yes. You'll sleep on the street. Yes. Leave my family alone with my boxes of Domino's pizza. <laughs> That's the top of all effect. <laughs> yes. I love it. Oh, oh God. God. I shall you tell you. Can't, you found a thing in the yeah. shed. You didn't know you owned it. You didn't yes. know what it was. Who did you ask about it? You want to know from who? I want to I want to know who you asked about that object in order to find out what it was called. I shall tell you. Well, please. David David Tennant, or as I call him, Doctor Who. You asked. <laughs> <laughs> you asked Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> who did you ask? Tom Baker. <laughs> you felt nauseous. You, did you That's off? right, I felt nauseous. <laughs> What's the difference between nauseous and nauseous? David, what's the difference between nauseous and nauseous? Excuse me, you're going to bust me. A... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm I am a human being. <laughs> I'm imagining you'll refer me to David. To David. <laughs> I want some that, very that, that last little bit right there. That is you yes. whenever you ask about movie references. You never consult yes, me I anymore. Just never, I, just, I just go right to you. I'm just like, oh, remember that movie, You? Like, I can't, yeah. <laughs> but that's why we have the movie. Link to Patreon in the uh, description. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> with the banker from Deal or No Deal. Who is the banker? We never hear the banker, do we? Oh. No, I'm not allowed to tell If I told you, I'd have to bury you alongside the badger on the frame. <laughs> oh, so the badger found out. Is that what happened to him? <laughs> Did yeah. we put him in a box <laughs> and then there's loads of other empty boxes? <laughs> <laughs> Dead squirrel, wrong box. <laughs> I think it's very sad that the badger died and everything. Yes. But why was so much trouble to dig the grave? Because like the banker's wife was with us. Oh, and can you tell us her name, or is she <laughs> work for? I can she work for the Iranian government. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not underestimating the sadness of it, and he's, there's probably a badger wife and badger children at home, so that's. Like, Are that you not allowed to say their names either? We're <laughs> <laughs> uh, we back. Got yeah. spades. Yeah. Went back to where the badger lay prone, buried it, said a few words. What did you say? Yeah. Just said, Lord, protect this badger. <laughs> or words to that effect. If only you'd have said it an hour earlier. <laughs> this is Pauline. When I was a cub, she was the Arcala, and she had to take me out of the scout hut once for asking too many questions when we were being given a talk by the police. What well, badges did you get, David? Yeah. Don't talk about badges in front of Richard. Do <laughs> you know that he did the journey? Because I've seen the book. I don't know whether he's using the story, which is a true story, and then adding and then the a bit interrogation. On. Like, if, you, if yours convinced. was, I read the news sometimes naked from the waist down, it would be true that you read the news, right? But you've, you've added a bit on, haven't you? Taking I'll a bit off. Hang on, let's, let's all... <laughs> It's a semi-true. It's a semi, yeah. yeah it's a semi, it definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, back to the interrogation. <laughs> is it just me, or is there a bit of a frisson now yeah. between me and Kate? I'm having yeah. a hot flash. <laughs> Imagine what Lee's having. Woo! <laughs> 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 I, I just... It's getting hot in here a little bit. <sighs> it's dead of winter time as the time of this recording. It's getting a little hot in here. My goodness. Mm. Yeah, open the door. Mm-hmm. Need to take this scarf off a little bit. Yep. Actually, <sighs> no. It's actually freezing it's fucking very, cold. It's very cold. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I totally believe that. I don't. The freelance thing. What do you mean? What do you mean, freelance? Why can't you be freelance? Oh, they're like a couple now. I mean, no. Shut up, I'll do with this. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Truth or lie, time to decide. It's kind of too obvious and too easy, so I don't know. No, you're thinking of me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was six, I was thrown out of ballroom dancing lessons. <laughs> David's team, right. I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> Never say that 
That's a Craig. <laughs> This is my estate agent, uh, Matt, and we once were meant to look at a property, but instead we watched a dog give birth. <laughs> what was the dog's name? Do you remember? Penny. Penny. No. Oh, the penny dropped. <laughs> <laughs> As a child, my family weren't able to have a dog, so instead we got a cat and treated it like a dog. The lead isn't really long enough for a cat, so we used to tie a 30-foot washing line... <laughs> <laughs> what?! ..to the lead, and you could walk at least 30 yards. <laughs> and dry your clothes <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, take this, um, you take the cat out in the car. What yeah. would be the arrangement in the car if you're going on a journey? Well, my dad built the cat a shelf, which went... <laughs> from the dashboard of the passenger seat <laughs> and slotted in... <laughs> Can I just say, if this... the metal of the headrest. If this turns uh, out to be a lie and they get it right that it's a lie, <laughs> you have made life extremely hard for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I find very believable, because I don't think you would have invented it, is the shelf. <laughs> Not actually and treating the, the cat like a in. dog or like a cat, but just like I don't know, like a book, <laughs> <laughs> or like a like a catalogue. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I have had to stop listening. Uh, I need a second for that one. <laughs> catalogue. Got it. <sighs> Dad jokes. I would I would be left in the dust, dude. <laughs> really? On this, on this fucking panel. Oh, oh, man. With, with both of them, I would just be like, "What? Yeah, what? I'll be right along with them." I would just, man, mm -mm. yeah, Too I'd quick. banter right, right, right along with them. I, and and I, you're the brewing banter guy. Yeah, but still, it's just it. I need some time. They don't have that. They just rapid rap. I don't know. I I would put my foot in my mouth all the time. All the time. <laughs> but 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 that's part of your charm. Yes, just leave myself wide open for this. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, my God, man, the, the the speed at which this guy processes stuff is is amazing. Yeah, yeah. He he could he could write a whole uh, oh, yeah. uh, comedy sketch show in in a day. In a day. Yep. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Uh, give me three minutes. All right. Yep. All right to a classic 1980s pop song because every time I play it, it makes my baby daughter cry. Craig, what do you think? I don't know. I, I haven't had any children of my own, so I don't know whether or not they just hate one, like, one track like that. But... You should get one, because then they'll get a sandpit and you'll be happy. <laughs> 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 you remember, you remember Mohammed, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was the man on the train. The Moroccan on the, the train. The Moroccan train. on the train yeah, who invited yeah. him back to his house. So yeah. then when I was staying uh, with Mustafa and his family... <laughs> <laughs> How was it then resolved? How did you end up getting off of the list? Well, hang on a minute, we're jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah. What the yeah hell he's allowed to do that, him, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you doing? I was travelling uh, with Art... Uh, with, uh, no, uh, Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed. Uh, <laughs> My client is getting mixed up because at Passport Control, they said he must have a passport. <laughs> and he's getting a bit mixed up with the name. As a child, I used to play board games against a bucket with a face painted on it. <laughs> I called this bucket <laughs> Stephen Tatlock. <laughs> Did you ever mention the real Stephen Tatlock to the bucket? <laughs> I think probably not. No, I think that would they have been... They were blissfully unaware of each other. sort of been playing with <laughs> levels of reality. I don't want you to think that I felt I was in any way being unfaithful to the real oh, Stephen yeah. <laughs> I'm not picturing this as some person. sort of romantic yeah. film. I can't imagine the real Stephen Tatler walking in on the game and you go, Stephen! <laughs> Stephen! <laughs> Stephen! 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 She's teaching me to ice skate because I'm going to be a best man at a wedding on ice. What's your role in, in the it's wedding? It's like this, I sort of tumble and then go like that. <laughs> <laughs> So, so are what? you best man? Are you presenting the rate? Well, I am that very man, yes. I'm the best man. So, the best man. so what do you have to do? What's skating? <laughs> Deborah, what, what was uh, Molly coming into? What was her business? She was, it was uh, sort of eye shades, but well, sunglasses for dogs in summary. Uh, what sort of a dog was it? 
Uh, Labrador retreat. Yeah, Labrador, that's great. The idea of a Labrador <laughs> with dark glasses on. Some other guy leading the right. <laughs> Oh, man. I have a recurring dream in which a monkey in silver hot pants feeds me soup from a bowler hat. Do you think there's any amorous connotations to this dream? You know, you've got the little Kylie Minogue hot pants on. Probably why you can't get it out of your head. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, got that one. Oh, man. That, that was good. That one was good. I got that reference. Mm -hmm. I got the Kylie Minogue reference. Mm. Yeah, very good, very good. <sighs> <laughs> okay. I've got three keys that look very similar, so I have to put those little things on to, to, to give you the different yeah. colours. And these colours help me a lot, because that's for the blue door, that's for the green door, <laughs> that's for the yellow door. Yes. Now, I'll never forget, because the blue door is blue, the yellow door is yellow, and the green one is my next-door neighbour, Shaking Stevens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's that's the, the, the key for the front door, that the, the bottom lock. Uh, what right. do you call that? Bolt. Bolt. Yes, I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He does it surely in a good light because he's acted incredibly stupidly and then couldn't repair his own damage. Yeah, well, absolutely. He's he's, he's lured literally a... I his children in danger. No, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Hang on, I'm not having danger. another one taken into care. I didn't. <laughs> didn't have another one. The trouble is that some children are timorous and some children are reckless. Yeah. And so in, I'm Sagittarius. And in order, <laughs> <laughs> and in order to save the lives of reckless children, warnings are calibrated for their safety. If you look at the sun, you will go blind. Funny enough, exactly the same advice for me as well, but it was page three of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a mug. What does it matter? And he said... It's my mug. And you said... OK, have your mug. And he said... Wash it first. Oh. <laughs> I've been through that conversation with a woman before. <laughs> <laughs> so... Who hasn't, uh, really? OK. This is Charlotte, and uh, she's my judo instructor, and she <laughs> and she told me off recently when she caught me having a pint in my judo kit just before a tournament. Yes. Tell us about how you got into judo in the first place. Well, how does anyone get into judo? Um, <laughs> I was watching Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> and... What? Yeah, and ruled out Kung Fu. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, a weekly class Correct. for judo, but how does the tournament work? Well, after, after Is that we... on the same day as the class, or...? Yeah, so we do... Every week we have a class, yeah. and then he said to the, all, the, all the, the, the men and the women in the class, he said... Who, who's he? Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh! I haven't got to Charlotte yet. I haven't got to Charlotte. So I thought she was your judo she instructor. Is. She is. She is. She is, yes. But he said... Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said tournament, tournament, how many do for? I said, I'll do a tournament when you have a sex change, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was chatting with the other bloke who's one of the dads. All right, so you're both in your judo gear. Yes. What's the name for that? I call it the white dressing gown. <laughs> <laughs> and she's come bowling in. Yeah. So she's come bowling in, I said, bowling's next door. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny thing. All judo moves are named after dishes. I did the sushi. <laughs> and the weird one, you're not going to believe, the pot noodle. <laughs> if you wanted to demonstrate any moves, the floor is yours. Oh, if, if, you, well, if you feel that would help prove your point. So, well, what you do is, I mean, what would you like to see? Well, uh, first of all, your, your opening stance. OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a cold winter's evening, I like to treat myself to a jacket potato with a melted Kit Kat on top. Yeah, is she telling I the truth? I think it sounds like a disgusting meal. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that actually sounds really nice? <laughs> I quite like that. Yeah. I like cars and I like chips, but I don't drive over my chips. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything that you like should be mashed together in the same... <laughs> That's rich coming from eight out of ten cats does count now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! That's right! <laughs> now, now, I was about to say, um, some things should be mashed together, like songs. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Link above Daniel's face. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> I think, to be fair, the first world record, the most number twos in a minute, was a w world record 
that had never been attempted before. <laughs> oh, so, so there, there, was, there was no current, there was no, there was no uh, record to beat. So, you, well, so, so they, one would have won it. No, because they set they set a bar. They say you have to be at least a minimum standard. It's not like your opponents. You have to. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. No. Edmonds employs <laughs> a pet chef once a week to cook a three-course dinner for his cat. <laughs> what are the courses in a cat three-course dinner? Yeah, what's the menu? I yeah. shall tell you. Yeah. I shall tell you. Veal or no veal? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Veal or no veal? And that, by the way, is one of the most high-class, posh things you can ever do. Give your cat a three-course dinner. I, I agree. Yeah. Because cats are assholes. And cats will probably just sniff it and just walk away. Yep. Not even give it a, nope. a thought. And just exactly. Just stick to their fancy feast or meow mix. <laughs> meow mix. <sighs> I, I got a little too passionate there. Sorry. Yeah, you did. It's all right. It's all right, man. It's okay. <laughs> This is the, this is the time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually ashamed of myself. I feel quite sick. If it gets run over, it's wheel or no wheel. <laughs> As a fishing enthusiast. Shut up. Uh, Shut up. Right. But the bonnet of the car was really heavy. Can I not just check? Don't you not call it the hood? I do, but I'm, I've been here, living here for five years, so my language is starting to shift. Or well, get better, as we call it. <laughs> my husband. Ah! I'm over the edge of the bridge like that, and I'm looking at the water, I'm looking at the view, and I'm looking around. It's all very lovely. And I heard, it, I th I heard that noise you hear. That. <laughs> and of course, it was Rob speaking Welsh. And the ah! George went past. Yeah. And yes. you had an ice cream, so it was summer, was it? Might have been. You can get ice creams in the winter nowadays, you know? <laughs> As, what sort of ice cream? Yeah. I like that one, but it's something in my hand. Uh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I was holding... I was holding an ice cream. A, a cornet. Pardon? A cone or cornet, yes. as they're called. Yeah, I was holding an ice cream. What ice cream? <laughs> so what are you going to say, Lee? <laughs> what the hell? Miranda. I just really... I hope. want to get in your jumper now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. What are what are wait? Oh god! <laughs> if it was summertime, we might consider it, but even then, probably not. No, 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 no. <laughs> but still, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Don't get any ideas now. What the hell is going on? We ask that every single time every we time, put every time I, one of these things on. Yeah. We we uh, we, we, we should have just learned by now to not ask too many yeah. questions about it and, and, and it just appreciate it for what it is. It's just something in the back. Protect all these people at, at any cost. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Whew. So what do you think? I don't want to rush you. I'm really cozy. <laughs> so what are you saying? Truth or lie? Um. <laughs> Christmas Eve, my wife asked me to pop out and get four to five lemons uh, and eight or nine limes. I love this Unfortunately, one. Unfortunately, I misheard her and came back with 45 lemons and 89 limes. David, I, um... In better news, we haven't suffered from scurvy for a long time. <laughs> You went out and you came back with 45 lemons and 89 limes. What did you think they were for? I don't ever question my wife when it comes to cooking. You just don't... With my wife, she cooks some amazingly overly citrus dishes. <laughs> Always. Was she, was she doing... using up what you've bought? <laughs> but when you say it was Christmas Eve, yes. were you going to be entertaining guests? Well, you know, family members, yeah, so uh, I wouldn't say guests, but they had to come round. What, 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 were the, what were the lemons and limes for? Well, it turns out they were for the drinks. I, I did wonder I why I didn't need to get any I patient. haven't met your wife. I'm sh sure that she's very lovely and sensible. Why well, say for 
to five. Why not just say, go and get me five lemons? Go and get me nine limes. That is exactly what I said when she said, what are you come back with 45 <laughs> lemons for and 89 limes? Because you're right. You tell me, you know. Yeah. Why, does, why does she strike me about the head when I wake up? <laughs> who knows the mysteries of our relationship? <laughs> did Where did you get these citrus fruits from, Lee? Was it a corner shop, a, a, a hypermarket? Or, it was a, actually, it was a hypermarket on the corner, so it's both. <laughs> <laughs> so you get back home, yeah. and there's Mrs. Mack. Yes. And what? I mean, when you put your wares on the table, yes. how does she react? <laughs> she said, she said, what, what, what are they? I said, what do you think they are? Green ones are limes, yellow ones are lemons. <laughs> she said, how many have you got? I said, I've got four to five lemons and eight to nine limes. She said, sorry, are you saying four to five lemons and eight to nine limes? I said, no, I'm saying four to five lemons and eight to nine limes. And wow. she said, uh, she went, you're an idiot. I said, what? She went, what am I supposed to do with all them? I said, you tell me, you asked me to buy you four to five lemons and eight to nine limes. She said, no, I did not. I said, four to five lemons and eight to nine limes. I said, sorry, can I just check? What are you saying? Four <laughs> to five lemons and eight to nine limes. So I this said, is when it all became clear? Yes, yeah. she said they're for drinks. I said, I know, but your family are alcoholics. And I thought that. <laughs> Loads and loads of drinks going to be happening. Mm. No, I was going to make something tarty. I think you'd have. <laughs> I... <laughs> it's like who's on first? Yeah, that's exactly what it's who's like. Who's on first? <laughs> but but I mean, if the wife wants that many lemons, I'm just not going to be like, nah, no. Right, I no. Mean, first you... of all, I got to find that amount of produce because that is a enormous amount of produce yeah yeah it, it, from the first time that we checked out this little bit here uh supply chain issues are still an issue yep. and it will be hard to locate 89 limes or lemons or yeah. any f amount of that citrus or fruit oh. or anything unless you have a garden of your own oh, yeah. and i'm gonna take a wild guess knowing what i know about geography and climate, I don't think you could grow citrus in Great Britain. Unless it's a massive greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, you have to build an artificial greenhouse. I, uh, you probably got to go down to, to Spain or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just taking a wild guess here. Pardon my dumb Americanness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> laughed about it rather than had a row. Well, these things always happen in our house. I remember saying to my wife, I only wanted four to five kids, and now we run an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between disinterested? What does disinterested mean? Disinterested mean, means impartial. Uninterested means bored. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one the audience yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> How far away from the cup do you stand to throw the bag? I do exactly four paces. But large paces, so Rob, about six paces. <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> what sort of tea bags do you favour? Oh, the old David Mitchell chat up line. Mm. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> so, what I do is I go up to the cup like that and I'll sort of do one, two, three, four. Yeah. I'll often do this. I'll look to my right, might put the kettle on, get it ready. And I'll often look, <laughs> often look to the left and go, Rob, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, go like that. I'll go Heston, the beans are burning, you were in charge of them. <laughs> David, put some clothes on. And then I'll... And then I will... The trick is to get... You can't, you can't squeeze too hard because you've split the bag. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> then you put it onto your head. Lee, you, Lee, yeah? just say, you've obviously got quite a large kitchen. Uh, well, no, no, because now I'm, I'm now in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said the kettle's there. Yeah, no, I keep the kettle in the living room. <laughs> I'm school. Why get up to make a cup of tea? Put it next to your sofa. <laughs> Not an idiot. I don't think. Uh, genius. That's actually genius. genius. Yep. Put it. Yep. Just put it in your living room. Like, and keep all your ingredients right there. Yeah. For you know, coffee, tea, beer, wine. Hey, hey, get one of those things that. Those chairs that have the thing uh, inside of it, and and keep your your your, your chips, your crisps. And then, yep, and move your microwave in there, and your oven. Yeah, and I mean just abandon kitchens in general. Yeah, abandon your self-esteem. Yes, and just this become a good. big fat ass. <laughs> just, <Yeah>. Oh my! <laughs> Skip walking in general. Who cares about walking? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Elephants <laughs> liked me before I hit puberty. <laughs> and do you believe that puberty was the triggering thing? 
Correlation is not causation. <laughs> oh, another one of your catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, they don't catch on, David. <laughs> you play you, right? I'll play the elephant. <laughs> right. Now, you... <laughs> you need to walk towards me and I'll... No, you. You've got to spot me. Mm. It's not about what I do, it's about... <laughs> 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 it's exactly like is that, that. Is that how it happens? Yes. Wow. There was something about being the elephant then. I believe it to be true. I was... <laughs> because it irritates me so much, I'm always correcting people when they wrongly call fog mist and mist fog. What do you feel about the Paul Gascoigne song, Fog on the Tyne? <laughs> I feel worse when he took that penalty and he missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul's ponytail I've always found a little bit annoying. I mean, let's face it, have you ever seen a ponytail on a man and not wanted to cut it up? <laughs> it's still, it's still well, a bit here. of a step to <laughs> actually have a go, isn't it? Because it's after all, it's, it's up. Look here. <laughs> yes. I... Well, wear this ponytail till the death, and I ain't cutting my hair. Unless you go bald, and I will cut it. Even then. No, I mean it's not up to you though. Yeah, it's not up to me. Cause I will, I will step in. Hey, George Carlin pulled it off. Yeah, look what that happened. It's uh, dead now. We're all gonna die. Correct. And but if you're bald, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not letting you go out like that. <laughs> I'm not letting you go out like that. Just let me be. Let me have this thing. Not if you're holding on to it. I'll let you hold it here and remember good days. <laughs> In fact, I remember when we did the premiere of the other What I Like to You. Yes. I put up a poll asking, should I wear my hair down? And I totally forgot about that. So, for oh, the rest right. of this video, yes. here we go. The crazy Spencer. You got your wish. Yes. You got your wish. For the internet. For the internet. Dear Lord. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, can you even see it from this, I don't from this so. uh, uh, headset here? I don't even know. You have to flip it up and over like bangs. Like bangs? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. If, if, if you got a laugh from that, you got to leave a yeah, like. It got to. <laughs> okay, let's back up this bit just because I, I I saw red for a little bit and blacked out. <laughs> Fog. What, what do you feel about the Paul Gascoigne song Fog on the Tyne? <laughs> I feel worse when he took that penalty and he missed. <laughs> well, Paul's ponytail I've always found a little bit annoying. I mean, let's face it, have you ever seen a ponytail on a man and not wanted to cut it up? <laughs> it's, still, it's still a bit of a step to yeah. actually have a go, isn't it? Because it's, after all, it's, it's up to people how they have their hair. It's not up to you, is it? <laughs> Trust me, David, if it was up to me, you wouldn't be having your hair like that. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of was it? Was it sort of okay, so I'll admit I jumped the gun a little bit. David's actually on my side <laughs> yeah. for, this, for this one, for once. I think so. Ah, oh man. Uh. Trust me, David, if it was up to me, you wouldn't be having your hair like that. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of moustache was it? Was this a sort of typical twirly one? Or just a sort of more Hitler type thing? Or... <laughs> Couldn't go into your son's school in it with a Hitler. Well, could you? Well, you definitely couldn't, David. Yeah. That would, that would be wrong. <laughs> En route to a meeting at the BBC, I gave CPR to an OAP. How old? Pardon? How old? I'm 48. <laughs> Why did she need mouth to mouth? Well, it turns out she didn't, and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, how do I know how you fix a sprained ankle? Uh... <laughs> How did you encounter the OAP? The OAP was just outside the tube station where the BBC uh, was. And soon will be again, I believe. Which line? What? Which line did you get on? I got the train to Waterloo and then I got the tube. Which colour? Well, she started off sort of pink, <laughs> then she went red. <laughs> Describe the scene. I saw uh, people in a circle looking down on the floor. Right. Someone said, is, is anyone a doctor? And I said, yeah. Yeah, there's loads of people. 
<laughs> she goes, I don't suppose you can do CPR, can you? And I went, uh, I went, can I do CPR? And I, as it happens, I can do CPR. So what does CPR involve? Yeah. Put my hand there, put my hand there, and I started doing this. Yeah. This. What's your rhythm? I did this. That's too slow. Uh, yeah, that is it's, slow. it's meant to be oh, staying alive. Sorry, I thought you wanted it in slow motion. It's the music of staying alive. <laughs> you wanted it in the pink beat. Ha, 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 ah, yeah, but my ha, record player's broke. Ah, 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 staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> And the ambulance came and took her off. <laughs> yeah, you gotta continue it. Like at that at that rate up, he like, I'm going nowhere. Yeah. Somebody help me. <laughs> it, it works perfectly like it that. It does. It does. Yeah. Songs that shouldn't I, work together but do. I I definitely would CPR. I would just punch one one good falcon punch to the sternum. If they don't come back, it's not meant to be. <laughs> No sweat breaking. <laughs> Trusted medical advice yep. from Daniel Arias. If it doesn't work on the sternum, punch in the throat, slap in the face. More of a violent, angry CPR. <laughs> not really. It's not supposed to resuscitate, just anger. It's just anger <laughs> at that point. Subscribe for more medical <laughs> advice. Just, yeah. Good God. And, um... And she uh, she went straight over a bridge and died. <laughs> I can tell the circumference of someone's head just by looking at them. <laughs> David, what do you think? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Let's move on. I, I actually had my head measured yesterday. What a waste of time. You should have just come here today. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what my head circumference is hey, right hey, now. Hey, Catherine, bring it on. Go on, then. What's her head circumference? <laughs> Uh, let the lady ask if she wants to know. <laughs> yes, can I, can I help you? Yeah. Me? Yeah. What is the circumference of my head? <laughs> Could you just have a little bit of a... <laughs> I would say that, from my expert opinion, you are... <laughs> I would say you are a large. <laughs> I just... Oh, no. You know what I'm doing? I used to be a vet. <laughs> you used to be a vet! <laughs> you were oh, God. Okay, hold on. Oh, my I got God. I need a second for that one. Uh, hmm. There ain't no way he's going to tell the circumference of this head. Especially in this state. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's nothing there. No, exactly. That's inside. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, hey. To be a vet. <laughs> you were named Christmas because you were born on Christmas Day. That's... Yes. Well, my brother was born on St George's Day, mate. Uh, April the 23rd, is it? And, um... He's called Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting better at the opening. No, it's just, it's wrong. Can you not it's even no. sip it? I no. think that's... So, Tracy Ann, you're definitively saying that you're not going to drink. <gasps> you're drinking it. Oh! Oh, my God, it's everything I thought it was going to be. It's disgusting. It's... Oh, get used to that phrase, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That must be Avery's gross sodas. Yes. 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 They just had different packaging back Ugh. then. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, if, if you know, you know. Yeah, for sure. What did the T-shirt look like? It was uh, it was a small red T-shirt. I'm guessing you had recently bought a adult-sized red T-shirt, and you uh, put that in the wash. Correct. But I'm um, presumably also your son's My identical son's red T-shirt, but purchased at a different time in a different place. I got it from Gap, and he got it from Gap Kids. And I just grabbed it, put it on, thought, oh, it's shrunk. I had no reason to believe it was any... I didn't check the label. That was my T-shirt, as far as I was concerned. So yeah. when you went back into Gap, what did you say? I was in a queue for ages. Someone shouted, next, and so I thought, I'm in the wrong shop. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I finally found out that it was Gap, so I got to the front of the queue, and uh, I, I, I went to the counter and I said, I'm not happy. 
Yes. What did they say? They said, well, which one of the dwarfs are you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm interested in you saying that you actually put on mm. your son's T-shirt, which, lest we forget, yes. you said earlier is something for a seven-year-old child. Well, I didn't want to say it on national television. My son is clinically obese. You thought about it, so now I've got to say it, OK? <laughs> so thank you for that. So there you are at the front of the queue and you're talking to the assistant. I handed it over. I said, I'd like to swap this. This T-shirt has shrunk. She looks at the label, which I haven't done. She looks at it and assumes that it's my child's T-shirt that has shrunk. And she said to me, are you sure it's shrunk? To which I said, yes, because I couldn't put it on. <laughs> <laughs> to which she said, well, yes, but could your child put it on? I said, I'm not giving it to my son just because it's shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, well, if you're sure it's shrunk, then OK, it's shrunk. She went off, she came back, she gave me another T-shirt, exactly the same size. <laughs> what did you say? I said, well, that has also clearly been in a high wash. <laughs> <laughs> How big are these supposed to be, then? I said, well, they're supposed to fit me. She said, why are they supposed to fit you? I said, because I bought an adult T-shirt. She went, ah, ah, ah. She's hilarious. I said, why? She goes, I don't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was great. That was good. I don't even work here. That was good. It's like, that was good. It's like here in the States, if you go into Target wearing a red shirt oh. and people will ask you where something is, that's when you start bullshitting them. That's when you start being like, hey, uh, oh, it's this is free. This is over by the sex toys. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Except these days, when most people do their shopping online, it's the clothes get there. You put them on. It's not the size you thought. And then there's no there's no humor. There's no, no humor in humor. having to drive back to the store or wherever Amazon returns are. It's no, there's no fun in that. No. It's one of the things I no, miss got, about in-person shopping. Yes, is the, the person part of it. Yeah. Or the in. I'm not sure. But then again, I really don't like people, so I don't miss it that much. Yeah. Yeah. The, the person part of it is the worrisome part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're all going to be More replaced by robots. More than one ro person is people, and I don't do that. Yeah. They're all going to be replaced by robots in, like, 30 years, something it, like that. They're already robots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, They're just shells of humans. <laughs> exactly. As someone who used to work as a, a Target cashier and other retail cashiers, I can tell you, yeah, it was kind of robotic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Cat but took it back a day later because our personalities clashed. <laughs> what was the matter with your personality? What were you clashing on? <laughs> well, um, the, the use of claws. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you wet yourself in a car? Because I needed a wee in a car. <laughs> I've needed a wee in a car, but I've never weed in a car. So, I mean, this is obviously just for everyone but me, a commonplace occurrence. Yes. <laughs> I don't, you know, basically, lavatories are just for me. <laughs> what a great what? name for your autobiography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we investigate? Okay, so, look, we're two American men, and we work out of a storage unit that does not have a public bathroom. No. Nope. So... When we gotta go number one, we just go number where, one. Go number one, outside. Yep. When behind our our vehicles. Yeah. Yep. It can't be that barbaric, can it? I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, we're it barbarians. is. It is. It you is. Created <laughs> a mug. Spotted mug. Yeah. Well spotted. Yes, here's options, Belgian chocolate. Bill, sorry, can you be careful with that? That's his mother's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody found an ambulance, and it probably was about 25 minutes, um, and still no sign. This bloke came over from the ice cream van, and um, he said, I'll, I'll take you to the hospital. 
So they're trying to dial the emergency service. Perhaps instead of dialing no, 999, they did dial, they... 99. <laughs> <laughs> Keering, right? Oh, is that a Keering? What is it? Are you, are you a big sports fan, eh? I do follow football. Yeah, which team do you follow? I follow Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers? <laughs> <laughs> Blackburn doesn't begin with an L, does it? <laughs> that, what was the LFC? Um, uh, it was uh, Liberace for Chancellor. <laughs> <laughs> right. When did you do it? What age were you when you did that? Was it at school then? Yeah. Uh, no, it's in Broadmoor. <laughs> <laughs> you say it took you a year. No, a year. <laughs> <laughs> no, a year. Ah, oh, yes, a year. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of plastic, plastic work. I know, well, the yeah, thing is, in 1982, plastic. plastic was the future. <laughs> I, th I don't. I don't in any way disparage plastic. That's fine. I like plastic. Plastic's very useful. But a class at the school called plastic <laughs> doing <work>. for plastic <laughs> work. <laughs> did you get marked on that? Was that yes, submission I did for get examination? Marked. What was your grade? Uh, uh, I got uh, a two-one, and we went straight to Oxford. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> My children like coffee. Nowadays, you can have what they call a uh, kitty chino. A baby chino, baby sorry. Chino. Baby chino, got it wrong, kiddie chino. Actually, a kiddie chino is just a very small pair of trousers. You probably do use them. <laughs> 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 I once spent an entire Christmas locked in a bank. <laughs> it was a Christmas after John Lennon got assassinated. And you had to go into hiding? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ever remember you being, being implicated in this. But you see, I was living with a girl in Streatham. Yeah, Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> I stole his time. I mean, that sounds like the ultimate Christmas right there. Being locked in a bank? My uh, God. And just, just trying to put as much <laughs> cash in your... Every pocket, every... Oh, shit. Okay, maybe... Uh, I don't know if orifices may... No, no. definitely not, but... It'd be different if he was locked in the vault. Yeah. Locked in a bank would suck. Completely yeah. if, suck. If you're just in the lobby and all you had to eat were those mints that they oh, put out. Yeah. Or I mean, I mean, you worked as a yeah. bank teller for and, once. So. And that's that would, that, would, that would be. I would hate that. It's very doable, but all nowadays all you have to do is move, and police would show up. Oh, okay. Because okay. motion sensors, all that good stuff. But Lenin, I don't know, like. I don't know what technology they had then. Just a security guard? Some guy Probably, just uh, locked the yeah, door? Yeah, they had uh, 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 Joe Schmo. Yeah. Uh, Paul Bart, the mall <laughs> cop. Paul Bart, yeah. Oh, my God. Worked at a bank. <laughs> uh, I'm not really uh, f uh, rewinding any of these. I'm missing some of them, so I apologize in advance for that. <laughs> yeah. With a girl in Streatham. Yeah, Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> I stole his title for downing a pint faster than anyone else on the BBC breakfast team. It was a tough phone call because I had to call him to tell him that his record had gone. So you just did this at home, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I've had another one, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm really getting through it no, tonight. Ray? If you're drunk, why'd you turn northern, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> because of the alcohol. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I don't mind. When I'm trying to fiddle the government, I always put on Jimmy's voice. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, the first time we didn't get that reference. Now we get it, because yes. Jimmy's a tax dodger. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. So he told you yeah. to drive Wiener Hearse? Because that's the vehicle he owned, because he was a funeral director. <laughs> <laughs> so what does the sign on his shop say? Uh, closed when he's teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he teach you to drive if he was a funeral director? Because he was a friend who was a f funeral director. He just so happened to own a hearse. Where did this all take place? In the hearse. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what age did you get your driving license? Uh, about 22. Wow. 
22? Why, why, what? About 22. Well, why I was a late developer. I didn't don't get my think first he was... girlfriend until 46. I'm <laughs> only <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe> 44. <laughs> Give me a call in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I'd, I'd like to ask you something. What the, the name of this funeral director? What, Ray's funeral directors? <laughs> Ray's funeral no, directors? No, no, that's not my answer. I said, what, Ray's funeral directors? <laughs> yeah, and what was Ray's funeral directors called? I'll tell you now, I'll tell you what Ray's funeral directors was called. Yeah. Jones's funeral director. <laughs> <laughs> Which just... Jones, how does he do it? How does he come up with it so fast? <laughs> uh, this is Ray, and as teenagers, we spent two weeks building a 35-foot-long airship in his back garden for it only to be popped by his pet cat. <laughs> and I was just thinking, it... next time I get locked in a bank, I want an escape plan. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I've been on an inflatables course. Where, where... Yeah, been on it. <laughs> where <I'm> <laughs> Hang on. What is an inflatables course? It's for people that keep letting down the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coconut that nearly killed me. <laughs> is this believable? Um, where, where were you? Under a coconut tree, what do you think? <laughs> In which country? The coconut country of... <laughs> <laughs> Coconutia. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually, uh, I was actually in uh, Thailand. I was in Thailand on holiday. <laughs> I was stood underneath. <laughs> I was stood underneath the coconut tree, uh, and well, oh, yeah. the oh. coconut fell off the tree, barely missing me. And you brought it home. Yeah. I'm suspicious because you're not allowed to bring fruit and vegetables from foreign countries into. Well, you made the classic mistake, haven't you, Tricia? Because a coconut isn't a fruit or a vegetable. <laughs> it is, in fact, a seed. <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> not wrong. He's not wrong. Oh, God. It's like, do, like tomatoes technically a fruit and the nightshade. And uh, I watch too much uh, Good Eats with Alton Brown as yes. a kid, so I I know way too much about the classifications of fruits and vegetables. And uh, yeah, I, I I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, and, and we not don't have, wrong. We don't have to go into it right now. We'll we'll save that for another video. <laughs> yes. to, to quote Alton Brown, that's another show. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God. And you hadn't opened the coconut. You hadn't given no. into the temptation, which most of us, when we get a coconut, really the thrill okay. is the smashing open with the hammer of the coconut. I disagree. Oh. It's the drilling and the sucking the milk out with the straw. Some of us <laughs> like to drill and suck, some of us <laughs> like to smash. This is what it says on robsmatch.com website. <laughs> <laughs> I have hidden in a cupboard to escape Anthea Turner. <laughs> David, where were you when this happened? In, in a cupboard. The cupboard. <laughs> I was the warm-up man, like a TV warm-up man. And I, I hadn't been doing comedy very long, and I was running out of things to go back and say to warm the audience up. Yes. And I saw the budgie go up in the rafters, panicked, and there was a knock on the door, <laughs> hid in the cupboard. And mm. at that point, this is the bit you're not going to believe, I thought, they're going to find me, and then I saw a lion, a witch... <laughs> <laughs> and I was able to escape into the forest, <laughs> never to be seen again. No. <laughs> Did you already know you will be staying in a garage? No. Were all the hotels booked? No. We thought it looked nice in the brochure. Who did? Me and my partner. Partner? Girlfriend. Girlfriend? Now wife. <laughs> that was a quick ten seconds. Hello, mate. <laughs> it's mm. Feng Shui. I, th I thought it was about don't have the sofa there, move it out a bit yeah. more diagonally, yeah. and that's a bit more Chinese yes. and cool. <laughs> so, so Lee, um, that's, that's my Chinese name. Yes, <laughs> so what happened? Um, my name is Gary, and I advise Kelly. <laughs> Rob, sorry, can I ask a question? Just, just before we move on too quickly, Gary, David would like to explain to you why the whole thing's a crock of rubbish. <laughs> Are you naked in the sauna? Oh, uh, yeah. You're naked with a book? <laughs> it's difficult. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My glasses. Your glasses. How can yeah. you read with steamed up glasses? Well, no, I don't wear my glasses, you just... Well, how do you read, then? Well, I hold the book up. That's not the problem. Oh, so all. now you're naked and you're doing that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you ever do this when the bloke sits opposite you? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a look at the book? I don't mind. Yeah, OK, would you like okay. to pass the book over? Let me have a look at this uh, book. 
Thank you very much. Do you need help with the big words? No. no. Oh! Oh! Need help with a Harry Hill impression? <laughs> <laughs> There's a phone number in the back and a bloke's name. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it says Tony and then a bloke's phone number. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What? <laughs> 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 Who's Tony? I don't know. Oh, yes, yeah, slag. I don't know. <laughs> when I worked in McDonald's, my long term girlfriend joined the queue to my till, and when she got to the counter, she dumped me. How long did you consider a long term girlfriend to be when you were 18? Well, she was actually my first girlfriend. Uh, her name was, presumably is, uh, Kate. Uh, <laughs> Kate Dunch. Was she special? She was, uh, she it's was. It's a special K joke. I'm not explaining it at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Am I allowed good. to mention special K, Rob, or do I have to mention crunchy? <laughs> Kate, Kate put in her order. She uh, puts in Kate. her order and says, I would like. Okay. Oh, Kate. 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 What's her name? Kate. 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 Special K joke doesn't work. I didn't want to send no. it. No. Oh, Kate. Kate. That's Kate. Kate. Yeah. Kate. I thought it deserved a bigger laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wondered why the hell you said it. <laughs> Richard, you be young, Richard. All right. So I, I hope that there's going to be a McDonald's joke here. If there's not a McDonald's joke, Lee Mack has failed. I mean, yeah. Mack is in the name. 100%. Yeah, come 100%. on. You feel me? Yes, 100%. Okay, at the counter of this fast food outlet, okay. David, yes. you are a normal customer. Okay. Dale is Kate. Oh. <laughs> Could I please have a, uh, a, a fillet o fish, but with no cheese? Uh, hold the cheese, no, it, hold the cheese, and put the cheese on the chips, please. <laughs> but not with me, cheese sorry, and bread. Excuse me, do, where are the toilets? <laughs> <laughs> they're just, uh, they're actually just next to my till, actually. The door's just the, about uh, there. I'll, uh, see you later, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> This is Ian. We used to regularly drive to a field together and howl at the moon. <laughs> My mum's name's actually Emma Luna because she likes the moon. Right. <laughs> well, is, she changed her name to that. Yeah, I think she's called Emmalina. Emma and what's Holden. his name? Um, well, Do Ian... you want a minute to think? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ian Howell. Ian Howell? Ian Howell. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Howell and Emma Luna. And did you have a moon associated name at that time? I wanted one. But you, you weren't old enough to get your moon you hadn't name. You had earned your moon name. They just yeah. kept calling you son. You're not ready yet, son. I had hippie parents and I had to do a lot of weird stuff. What did you have to do? Oh, we had to go and sit in circles and chant and shout in, in like, communes in Scotland. Yeah, really? so I had to do weird stuff this like is, that. Am I the only one that just, we all had to go shoplifting at Fresh? <laughs> <laughs> Last year, I made my husband a birthday meal using some mints I found in the street. What? What did you cook him with the mints? Well, I can only cook two things. A spag bowl and macaroni cheese. Which one did you go for? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've known you for a while, Joe. Can I just check? Is it your current husband or the first one who died of food poisoning? <laughs> uh, my one and only husband. Okay. Oh, it's Chesney Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did you need to prove to your father that you were in Brad? No, uh, sorry, don't, Rob. What? I said that exact sentence. <laughs> Making out that I was going, oh, hey, man, I'm melons! <laughs> I'm just one of life's natural communicators. I'm able <laughs> to convey... It, unless, unless Adol's going to say to me, uh, if only you could say in a soft Welsh accent, I'd understand. None of that made sense, you interpreted for Could me. you put it in a Welsh accent and then we could try? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Perform the tango. And who was your partner? He was the world champion tangoist. 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 Was he like a giant orange guy who came and sang? <laughs> tango. <laughs> was it Craig Revel Horwood? <laughs> As far as I remember, it was somebody that was handsome. 
Oh, he wasn't in there. Oh, well. <laughs> he was a professional ballroom dancer. Was it, la was it Argentinian tango or classic tango? Or diet tango. Or diet tango. <laughs> <laughs> I have vomited in Cliff Richard's hedge. <laughs> Can I just be very clear about this? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm terrible with euphemisms. <laughs> <laughs> Was it his front hedge or his back hedge? <laughs> Lee, please, please, Lee. It was the hedge inside of Wendy House. the pavement. The front Where boundary. is this house? Uh, I think it was Surrey. You I think you were drunk, were you? No, I, I was very, very young at the time. This kind of explains the vomiting. How old are you? I think I was about five or six. How did you know it was Cliff Richardson? Yeah. Because I He came was... out and said, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any connection with popular culture? None whatsoever. <laughs> Big fan of yours, though. <laughs> This is Marie. She once asked me to pop into her house to get rid of a spider. Ten minutes later, she asked me to leave because I was making matters worse. <laughs> so, Lee, how do you know her? Marie lives next door. Well, well she's she... your next door neighbour? Well, she's my next door neighbour's um, nanny. Right, OK. Not, not grandmother, obviously. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> how big was the spider? Uh, the spider was, uh, including the legs, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The spider was, I would say, about that big with, with, with legs. Well, did she uh, come around and knock on the door, or how, how did she alert you to the, to the crisis? She, uh, she, she, came down, she came around and knocked on the door. And what, what leaving Fine. the children and the spider <laughs> unattended? <laughs> oh. Yes. And what were you doing? I was at home just watching television, you know, just like you do, watching a bit of... Watching a bit so of what time... Bit what, of EastEnders, as it oh, goes. Wow. What, what time of day was this? It's about 7.30 till 8. So it was in the evening. <laughs> How specific? And, uh, Marie knocks at the door. Just you go and answer the door. <laughs> yes. What did she say? She said, uh, Lee. She's French. Okay. <laughs> she is. She said, Lee, you must come very quickly. <laughs> Pourquoi? I said. <laughs> <laughs> There is a spider in my house, I'm very frightened. <laughs> oh, may we? I said. <laughs> so, um, I said, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm sort of watching Doc Cotton, my favourite, you know. I, I don't know this character, I've only just arrived. The last time I was here, it was Dirty Den. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we just made light conversation. Yeah, I just you said, made light conversation, despite yeah. her distress, despite the fact that she's yeah. leaving unattended children yeah. in a house with an arachnid she finds terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you go, you go in the house, yeah. where's the spider? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you were the spider, I said. And uh, she said, he's in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Bathroom. In the back no, that's what I said. I said, no, it's bathroom. She went, oh, thank you, I've learned something. So it's not the And then she went upstairs <laughs> yeah. to the bathroom. Yeah. And uh, she said, uh, it's under that thing there. What, what said, thing? There was a, a little corner cabinet. She goes, it's under there, it's under there. So I said, I said, <laughs> stand back. But I'm actually a bit frightened of spiders. Mm. So I was trying to play it cool, like I'll sort it out, but was terrified of what I might see. So <laughs> I, I asked if she had any, uh, like, brooms and stuff. She, and she passed me the broom. So I, I get the stick and I try and move the thing. And I, as I'm moving the thing, the vase that was on top fell over and smashed. <gasps> now, that was just the start of my problem. Oh, <laughs> Put it this way. Have you ever seen that episode of Mr Bean where he tries to catch a spider? No. no. Good, I'll use that then. <laughs> <laughs> and no, we haven't either. <laughs> no. Every time we throw out Mr Bean, we get a lot of <sighs> uh, a detestment. <laughs> of it. I think that's the right way to put it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I, uh, so the, the vase oh. smashes. Now, right. now the child comes in, sees oh. me, oh. I panicked, saw the broken vase, mm. saw the child with no shoes on, mm. and just sort of went, whoa, whoa, get out! Like that. Bit, <laughs> bit too assertively, oh, yeah. and the child started crying. Oh. oh, but why do you make me cry so? Hang on. <laughs> no, no. The child is not French. No, no, that's what I said. I said, is... <laughs> let me finish. I said, is, are, you, are, you, are they French children? And she said, no, but you know, I'm the parents are never here, so they learned from me. <laughs> 
unbelievable. It's three Killing years old, never been to France. He's going, boo hoo, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Why must I cry? <laughs> Did you at any point actually see the spider? Well, that's the funny thing. No, I didn't. No, but I didn't. you know what size it was. Yes, yes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> because she told me. She told me, didn't she? You described the size quite specifically. Because I listen to women, Rob. That's the difference between me and you. That's why they go out with me. Because I listen to what they have to say. I don't always go, did you see me and Gavin and Stacey? No. <laughs> I'm in their life. I'm not being. Wow! <laughs> what Lee's saying is obviously, uh... <laughs> it was just not true, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marie, would you please reveal your true identity? Sorry. Okay, it's... Uh, uh, second bedroom? And then... Uh, <laughs> 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 I met Dave in 1990 when I passed out at the top of Mont Blanc because the altitude, the air was so thin, and you very kindly helped me down with the party you were guiding down the peak. So, an heroic mountaineer, thank you. Lee, what's Dave to you? Uh, this is Dave. All right, Dave. He's my, um... <laughs> he's my old boss who taught me how to call bingo. Exactly. Where's Dave from? Dave, he can't speak, you can't answer. No, I'm asking yeah, you, yeah. where's he from? <laughs> He's French. He's French. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, <laughs> okay. I'm Lee's ex-boss, and I taught him how to be a bingo caller. That's <laughs> 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 crazy. How old are you, Dave? Can I just ask? I'm 45, how old are you? Younger than you. Are you still maintaining that he's not telling the truth? <laughs> in, a minute, in a minute, if you interrogate him enough, he's going to break down and go, Oh, I knew I could not keep this up! I, I have been a fool! I when I... <laughs> a bingo caller. How hard is it to be a bingo caller? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know what? I need, I need to play bingo. <laughs> they have... Uh, where I live, there's a fire hall bingo every Tuesday, <laughs> and I've all it's always packed, and I need to go at least once. <laughs> so. so, are we gonna hang out with all the grandpas that are are, are gambling? They usually got a cigarette right there, and well, I, I have got... no idea. I have, I maybe, I don't know, but yeah. it looks like the most live place ever <laughs> on a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ETS, they know something I don't. Yeah. I mean, our, our boy uh, Ian has already made ETS-21 yes. bingo. Yes. And uh, if, if you've watched this far, comment below how many uh, you've gotten. <laughs> and, yeah. And odds are good uh, There's this is a premiere, so... Uh, yeah, have to have yelled bingo already At in least. the com in the in the I, chat. I think so. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and if not, Oasis built this channel. Yes. <laughs> what? No, no, Bingo! No, no, you... Bingo! <laughs> yeah. Oh God. <sighs> I was twelve. I saved up all my pocket money and bought a rowing boat that I never used. Um, uh, basically, the boat was a bit too big. A bit too big for, for what? what? The sea? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I pushed it into the water, it kept hitting France. For easy. <laughs> can't, can't get it into the. Try it sideways, Dave. As I'd forgotten, but you've reminded me, they hibernate. Well, <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly true. But hibernation can be an interrupted affair. Ooh. But you have got your information right here. Yeah? No, they don't. But there's all the kids at home. Wake up the tortoise is fine. The Reverend Richard Carlson. You want to... Let's go and dig up Nam. I will. <laughs> Did you feel, as you were eating the soup, a bit of spinning coming on? I did. I always do towards the end of a, of a, of a particularly... Um, do you, after breakfast, do you spin with your every, cup of coffee? Every opportunity to keep my... But to keep... Stop my hands feeling busy. It was something the therapist told me to do. I think it's to keep your hands busy is the expression, <laughs> not stop my hands feeling busy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the words of a maniac. <laughs> It's, it keeps my hands calm because I've always right. wanted to do things okay. with my hands. Well, like at the moment, I want to punch David in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all want to punch David in the face sometimes. At, at some point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to lodge that bug from his ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? God, yeah.
I came down one morning to find he'd left 88 pints of milk <laughs> on my doorstep. <laughs> How many had you ordered? I'd ordered, well, I thought I'd ordered eight. Paul didn't question that at all. Nobody questioned that you wanted 88 bottles of milk. Yeah, because what happened is I put 88, I said double clicked, and then his face just came up on the screen and went, Are you sure, Governor? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Lee is bad with numbers. He yeah, he is. <laughs> 88 <laughs> gallons of milk. So much limes and lemons. Limes and lemons. I mean, unless he's making a fuck ton of, I don't know, key lime pie and... Maybe. Uh, lemon meringue pie, then, you know, go for it. Yeah. But who needs that much? Sell things to him. I mean, yes, yes, sell things to him. <laughs> yeah. And Kevin Bridges. Yes. Yes. I only know uh, that because of the compilation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go back there and have another go. <laughs> I can tell if someone drinks mainly tea or coffee just by listening to their stomach. Ah, how? Yes. how? Uh, yeah, how? Well, there's a certain rumble to your coffee drinker. Oh, come on. It is the slightest thing that only someone with a sensitive ear like mine would... Can hear. you reproduce the rumble yourself? What do you say? Can you reproduce the rumble <laughs> You're going to do us all? Off room. <laughs> OK. <laughs> News just in. There's a definite rumble there. You're a yeah. tea drinker. I thought you said coffee drinkers rumble more. There's a rumble, but it's not it's the a, rumble. It's, it's the, the mild <laughs> rumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, lovely. You know, that was yes. really lovely. Do you know what? I, I can't make my mind up. I'll have to check again. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, that look on his face is the fact of. I have to see this man every, every every whatever whenever they film every time we film oh, God. and there's no getting out of this yep. I just have to take this and accept it because you know he has to be the most uncomfortable thing <laughs> he has to be so uncomfortable yeah he's, that is not him yeah and you know, when you work with someone like, like so long like you know what what you can yeah. do to push their buttons <laughs> yeah 100 percent. yeah and, <laughs> take some guesses in the comments as to what uh what buttons we have for each other yes this is true this is a yeah good, that'd be good I, i'd like to know what y'all have yeah. to say about that exactly got a very warm it's air <laughs> <laughs> it's tea now, I have a different system for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I... Not at all. Press my I lift them up so you can get in. She <laughs> <laughs> promised you'll keep them up till I'm away. No, no, I'm going to them on Don't throw them on top. I do not want to be forced to the ground. <laughs> Come on, get hurt. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> quite simply, every time you fancy a cigarette, just yes, nibble on a carrot. But for some reason, because I've tried before, for some reason just having the packet. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You... Josie Lawrence? Yeah, what, what? From the original Who's Line? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not so. crazy. I think so. I, th I think so. Someone please confirm that. Yeah. You put them in the yes. cigarette pack. Do so you still have That's to buy? That's what he did. That was his little technique. I was trying to give up heroin once, and I carried around a little tub of uh, hummus. <laughs> <laughs> I found that worked. <laughs> Where were you? Were you in a lesson? Orchestra. Orchestra? During orchestra. She played the piccolo, I played the viola. Not the violin, viola. And uh, she... Hey, hang on, what? You had a pretty tough upbringing. No, it was... It was, <laughs> it was hell. I could ask a question. Are you Ant or Deck? <laughs> um, what do we think? I think that it is not true. Okay. You don't you have to wake up to pee sometimes? That's when I'd throw them on, you know, all night. I don't know. I don't always wake up to pee. I could wish <laughs> I... <laughs> 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 Wait, I got stuck for half an hour in a men's toilet because I couldn't find the door. Were you on your own? Uh, yes. <laughs> 
And where was it? From somebody singing some wham song. I don't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> so presumably you managed to find the door on the way in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Without being facetious. Right. Oh, I didn't do that. You found. You found the door. You found I stood the door. up. Uh, <laughs> ah! You found the door on the way in. I did find the door on the way in. You took a number one, number two. Uh, no, I, I walked. I didn't get a bus. <laughs> <laughs> what are the what are the cereals you get in those little boxes? <laughs> this is the test, isn't it? Well, you get um, Frosties, Good Rice stuff. Krispies, nice, yep, uh, Corn Flakes, Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes. Cocoa Pops. Three more to go. <laughs> and What's your favourite? If you don't get this right, this last one, it'll be Cheerio to you. <laughs> ah! Uh, so how, what did you do to save the bird's life? I, I said to Mike, change of plan, I will take it home. Uh, you, what uh, did you have for Christmas dinner that year? Uh, we had turkey. <laughs> Where do you keep a turkey? In the, in the first place, in the shed. I cleared away all the sharp implements. Uh, a bit of potpourri in a bowl. <laughs> No, if you're not going to take my story seriously, Stephen, I don't Thank want to talk to you. <laughs> How did your wife react? She was uh, expecting... Well, she, as you know, lives in the shed as well, so she was... Uh... <laughs> so what are you going to say, then? What do we think, Barry? I've got a 100% wrong record on this current It's time story. for a change, it's Barry. It's time for a change. Whatever you say, we're going with. I think it's true. In fact, it's a lie. You think it's true? <laughs> <laughs> I have perfect pitch. So can listen to any noise and tell you what musical note it is. <laughs> B flat. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let me let me let me sing. back that up. Back it up. <laughs> uh, so how what did you do to save the bird's life? I, I said to Mike, change of plan. I will take it home. You, uh, what did uh, you have for Christmas dinner that year? Uh, we had turkey. <laughs> Where do you keep a turkey? In the in the first place, in the shed. I backed I up cleared way too away all yeah. the sharp <laughs> I was like... uh, Bit of potpourri in a bowl. <laughs> no, if you're not going to take my story seriously, Stephen, I don't yeah, want to exactly. talk to you. <laughs> How did your wife react? She was uh, expecting... Well, she, as you know, lives in the shed as well, so she was... Um... <laughs> so what are you going to say, then? What do we think, Barry? I've got a 100% wrong record on this... Current it's time story. for a change, it's Barry. It's time for a change. Whatever you say, we're going with. I think it's true. In fact, it's a you lie. You think it's true? <laughs> <laughs> I have perfect pitch, so I can listen to any noise and tell you what musical note it is. <laughs> B flat. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, B flat. Yep. That's there you it. go. Yep. It's, I, I had to confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> so can you sing us a, a G? I can't sing. I can listen to a note and tell you what pitch it is, but I can't. I'm not actually very good at. Are you upset? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Do it again. Ah. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> what? What? That, that will be. That's A. So when did you discover you? Yeah. Yeah. That was A. That was A. There you uh, go. Uh, G is. G. Because you just got said letter. Mm hmm. Could do this. About 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you play a musical instrument? Do I? Do I? No. <laughs> so, yes, I do play musical instruments. What do you play? I play uh, guitar. Triangle. Uh... Well, you know what, Lee? It's funny you should mention a triangle because. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the triangle. You tell me what this is. Ooh, that is out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. One more time, louder. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know I was going to serve this customer. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer's the, the Neo of. The music world. I can't remember what note that is right now, but someone, hey, I'll, I'll leave yes. this one up to you. Yeah. Fact check the yeah. note. Fact check the note. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> G. It's a G. G. It's a G. I don't know if it is or not. It um. is. <laughs> Dave, your tea's ready.
Is that the end of the game? <laughs> that was uh, that last whistle. That was a uh, that was a P. <laughs> <laughs> Those last two were C. Yes. Yeah. This is Tony, and I regularly go round to his house to play with his Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, quick question. Are you still married? <laughs> uh, yes, I am. How do you know him? I know him uh, because I made a documentary and I met him doing that. What was the documentary called? It was, the documentary was called The Pursuit of Youth. Uh, it was about people who were into, you know, childish, childish things as, as adults. And they got you to host that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this sort of Lego body. How did, did everyone believe you? So you told your wife, you said, I'm going to go and build Lego at Tony's mm. house and it was everything was fine and that was all. She, she seemed to believe me. <laughs> Has Tony got a wife? I can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony's played this game long enough to know that if he was to put in the phrase, I was making a telly show, that would be a risk. Are you following his career? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here following David's oh, career? <laughs> <laughs> <Anybody>? <laughs> I, I, I feel like you. I saw the trailer for it. Don't though. say that even as a trailer. I feel like I saw the trailer. That was trailer. <laughs> this week on Pursuit of You. By the way, I'm not offended if you say you don't follow what I do. Oh, no. No, I, I, I'm just too busy, but I, I feel the Lego thing. Yeah, yeah. Hard. Come on. Good <sighs> <laughs> Uh, to hone my tracking skills, I used to secretly follow joggers in the woods. <laughs> what? So you could find, if they're, if they're wearing trousers and are therefore crashing through the nettles and brambles, you can find fibres. And if it's wet, you can see footprints. Mm -hmm. This is true. Um, what if they're not wearing trousers and it isn't wet? What, what, if they're not wearing trousers, them there? they're probably not a jogger. Basic rule, trousers, jogger, no trousers, dogger. That's how I was. Ah, ah, nice one. <laughs> that was good. Thank you, Peter K, yeah, for uh, teaching yep. us that one. <laughs> this is Miller, and I know Miller because we often take one of my dogs flying. If there's a bit of turbulence, do you ever turn around to him and say, is it windy, Miller? <laughs> <laughs> Last month, I was honoured to be made captain of my netball team. This was only last month, so I've only just joined it. This but you've been immediately made captain. <laughs> Listen, the first day I turned up here, I was made captain. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us just have a presence. I genuinely am not allowed on boats anymore because people keep pushing me to the front and say <laughs> Go through the positions for me, then. Will you remind me again what they are? <laughs> 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 you play with two less than most other teams. That's why we were so good. <laughs> I'll tell you what it was. It was quite a lot of players, and we were. All, I was as captain. I was getting people on and off all the time. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you, you lost track so of lost, how many. So were on. You had rolling subs, did you? Rolling subs. Yeah, yeah that was a name. That, that was a nickname, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Subs. She got the nickname because she'd eat too many Subway sandwiches. What's <laughs> <laughs> the name of the team? Uh, well, I'd, I'd go by the, their initials. One was called GK. <laughs> One was, uh... That was the name of the overall team. Yeah, that, that's what was on their overalls. <laughs> <laughs> My family don't have a swear jar. We have a bore jar. <laughs> Whenever a maidly says something dull, they have to stick a quid in it. Blimey, have you got a change machine, Al? <laughs> <laughs> Once a week, I love to eat a full English breakfast, but can only do so if I'm entirely stripped to the waist. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Can I, can I ask you a question, Gabby? Do you like a fried breakfast? <laughs> because I can never remember the phonetic alphabet, I have invented <laughs> one of my own. <laughs> Based on things I can see from my bedroom window. <laughs> A for apple tree. And, and, and to the point where I will do this on the phone when they say, what's your postcode? Really? I will use these. Well, things. carry on. B, this is the one that can get confusing. B for bird. 
because right. obviously the bird isn't always there, but you can always hear or sense a bird. So be <laughs> from a bird. Yeah. You can always See sense the cat. A bird. <laughs> think the cat. There's always a cat. I think I know why there's no birds. <laughs> <laughs> D, think yeah, you know I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised the cat's still there. I really am. Do you sometimes really really find there's no C I, when there's a D? Often I can say D, there'll, be no, there'll definitely be no C and B yeah. ever. <laughs> well, what's, what's H? H will be for hospital. <laughs> v? V is for a word I'm not allowed to say on national television. <laughs> but all I will say is the next door neighbour, she likes to sunbathe naked. <laughs> Which is, this is a weird one. Can't do C and V at the same time because she's got an allergy to cats. Ah. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Ah. Oh, I see. OK, this is Jakob. <laughs> I don't remember those yoghurt drinks making that noise. <laughs> Get me the wand, please. The are, you, the wand. are you born in a little northern town called... Double entendre. <laughs> That's in Cockermouth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Billy, my uh, karaoke partner. Uh, when I let rip as Lionel Richie, he was my Diana Ross. <laughs> right. Joe, how do you know Billy? Uh, this is my neighbour, Billy. Um, I once stole his wheelie bin. Uh, then texted him instead of my husband um, to tell him what I'd done. <laughs> <laughs> He'd swapped your bins, yeah. and had you swapped them back? Yes. Yeah. So uh, it was a chain reaction. And had you then? <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. That's brilliant. So you believe it is possible to move an object with the power of thought? Yeah, it's not just possible. But we've done it. How do you know it just didn't move on its own? Without telekinesis. Well, because if you put a crisp packet in the conditions with no wind, it won't just turn. It could go on its own if it was walkers. It's got air in it. Ah! 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 Oh, that wow. reminds me. I love the prawn, the prawn flavor, oh, yeah. and the smoky bacon, Ooh, that and was the good. cheese and onion. Those were really freaking good. Yep. When when we do go over, <sighs> I am gonna pack as many of those into a suitcase yeah, as I can. I'm leaving clothes. And bringing snacks. Yeah, we can, we can buy clothes over yep. there. <laughs> Need to shop at Pretty Green anyway, so yes. why not? I qualified as a football referee, but quit after six matches because the abuse became too much. <laughs> oh, please do. I agree. I, that's a when truth. When was this? It has to that's be a truth. truth. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen the football chant compilations yes. we've. You, you, a lot of you probably oh. came over here because of the football chain compilations. I believe it so much. Like, if you don't have thick skin, don't I? Like, the refs get as much grief as the individual players. Yeah. <laughs> or more. And or even more. fans aren't even yeah. uh, safe, safe from it. Nope. Or the television networks. Nope. <laughs> uh, it was when I was a teenager. Okay, so this this year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He does look young. I a child a yellow card and then yeah. his manager took me aside afterwards. And Sorry, his manager? <laughs> Who was? Was his name Ronaldo? <laughs> <laughs> a manager? Well, no, no, not like, it's like the manager of his team. The, the, the... Can I just say that you have picked him up on the only bit of the story that is true. You can say manager. Can you? Oh, manager. a manager. Like a football yeah, manager. Yeah, tell me that he's agent. You're so <laughs> showy. <laughs> his manager now at 40. I didn't get a manager till I was 27. Anyway, this little child had a manager. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I booked this kid for quite a late tackle. Well, and... he's good then. He's doing well, this manager, because he's getting him bookings. <laughs> 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 I recently took a crash course in taxidermy, <laughs> by the end of which I've managed to make this. Show us what this is. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, no! No! No, I, I can't. love that. I can't. <laughs> love that. I can't look at it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, that is hilarious, dude. Oh you you already heard what I had to say about taxidermy and animals earlier in this oh, thing. But it's it's well done. It's a it's an action mouse. <laughs> it's it's a it's a. <laughs> I I'm, love that. I'm creeped out by that Hell man. Yeah. I'm so creeped <laughs> out. Uh, oh God. If I ever do come around to your house, please. 
put I'll the, put the taxidermied animals away. <laughs> yeah. That goes for all y'all uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ugh, uh, I I Ugh. will walk out of the house. <laughs> I'm not lying. Oh my god. <sighs> all right. Um, David's team. Where would you like to begin? What is it? I can't can see. Can we have a Can we have a proper oh, look? That Sheila is what I call. <laughs> Mouse on a skateboard. <laughs> you like to mouse, take it across? It? Please do. What's it made of? It's made of mouse. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit of skateboard. Oh, no! Okay, first of all, how long was this course? Uh, this is the first course. <laughs> um, <laughs> when did you do that mouse? Uh, basically, we uh, <coughs> found a, a mouse. Where? The, the, uh, there, on the stair. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> How many people were on the course? I would say there was 12, 14, something like that. 12. 12. There was 12. 12. 12, yes. Yeah, uh, sorry, no, it was a, a disciples' convention. Talk, talk me through. <laughs> what sort of people were they? It was Matthew, Mark, Luke. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There was a guy called Thomas. He wasn't sure if he wanted to be there. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. This is John. He comes to Countdown every single day and presents me with a freshly baked cake. Ricky, uh, what is John to you? This is John. If he hadn't decided to join my band, he could have been in the Beatles. He brings a cake every day. Yeah. What, what sorts of cakes? Well, last week it was carrot cake, because that's my favourite. Mm. Um, so sometimes he deliberately doesn't make your favourite cake. <laughs> <laughs> to show displeasure at your we... maths. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like, it looked like red velvet, but it was with beetroot. Yeah. That was really good. Mm. And I think it was the Victoria's Bond. John looks yeah. gutted. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's gutted, he's almost in the Beatles! <laughs> <laughs> How many cakes would you say he's given you? Two, 237. 237 no. cakes? Do you get someone to have a little peck before in case he's poisoned them? <laughs> oh no, cos... Carol Vorderman. He comes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see John's baking hands, or is he not allowed to move? You can have a look if you want, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. I can check if they're musicians' hands as well while I'm up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What is it you're looking for, then, Josh? <laughs> Just, like, flour under the nails. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't the fingers of a guitar player. Right. Because they haven't Ooh. got any hard ends on them. Which is the exact uh -huh. phrase Paul mm. McCartney used when he's acting. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> This is John. After my mate John was involved in an accident, I went to visit him in hospital, but I mistakenly sat next to this John's bed and spoke to him for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! I went into the... To the there's, like, a mini-reception then, mm. and I said, uh, I'm looking for John, the guy involved in the sledging accident. It turns out this woman, whose language wasn't first language English, turns out his surname is Legging. <laughs> and thought that I said John Legging accident. Is your, is your next door neighbour's surname uh, Ladder by any chance? Don't be facetious, you know it's not. Yeah. That's my oh. stepson's name. <laughs> <laughs> now, what had happened to your mate John? So, my mate John, he'd been involved in a sledging accident. Uh, he's my neighbour, and someone had phoned me and said, oh, uh, John's in hospital, he's had a, a bad sledging accident. How had the accident happened? It's a weird one. You know sometimes people go to hospital and they're all right, but then they go downhill very quickly. Complete reverse. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I've been cabbage so many times. Somebody started a Twitter account was tweeting pictures of cabbages on me every day. They said stuff like, oi, oi, savoy. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the time. I remember it was the time. It's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Some slack. No, no, no. I would say that anyone who can enjoy that joke about a lettuce would have to be a sociopath. <laughs> I was rowing. Rowing in a tree? No. <laughs> in a boat on my own for one of the very first times because I'd always been out uh, with John, who was my rowing coach. And I steered straight into a tree, and it was a tree that was overhanging the river. He walked a little bit down the bank towards me, continued to shout, and yeah. somehow I, I think I took my jersey off actually. And it's then I came back story. with one <laughs> oar. <laughs> Which one? Well, I suppose either or. 
Uh, <laughs> or, ah, ah, ah. That's what the countdown crowd <laughs> I once accidentally left a goldfish on top of a petrol pump. You were travelling back with it on your knee. Well, what, how would you? I wouldn't be so selfish. I'd have gone by submarine and towed it. <laughs> 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 but I'm different. I'm far more keeping than well, you. I, I think you have an exaggerated idea of how wide Britain's canals are. <laughs> because if, if you tried to take it by sea, the salt would have killed it, you yeah. barbarian. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the salted goldfish. <laughs> 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 so you rested it on top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now talk us through what happens next. Um, I, I, I get out of the car yeah. with the goldfish, mm -hmm. put it on the petrol pump. Again? No, no, no. I'm sort of... <laughs> I'm, I'm rewinding a bit. Oh, right. So, all right, I'll rephrase um, the question. I... Tell us what happens next, but before that, go back ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> because, quite frankly, well, that was the gripping bit of the anecdote. I'd like to hear it again. <laughs> if you were playing this game in Wales, you wouldn't call it snooker. 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 Yeah, snooker. Because we don't, we don't like... The oo sound, the same with tooth, we'd say tooth. Yeah, and likewise, we don't like the, um, the Welsh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh. Stalactites have a C in them, stalactite, C for ceiling. Yeah. Stalagmites have a G, G for ground. No, it's the stalactites come down, isn't it? Tits, tights, tights, but tights, tights go up as well. No, no, they don't. Not when I'm around, look. <laughs> 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 I found out my girlfriend was cheating on me while I was bouncing on a trampoline mm. and spotted her over the fence with another man. <laughs> How long have you been seeing her for? Been up and down over the years. Uh, <laughs> so what sort of trampoline was it, Lee? Was it was it the TS-497. <laughs> the only trampoline. <laughs> I, remember, I remember jumping up over the fence, seeing them kissing and thinking, is that the TX-417? <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get that from? I wish we could afford one of them. Are we? Stop <laughs> kissing her! <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Yes. Was it an oblong trampoline? Was it the modern one with the nets, the circle with the nets up the side? Don't was say it... that! Do you know her name was a net? <laughs> <laughs> it was a trampoline with no net round the side. Oblong I... or circular? Uh, well, she'd lost a bit of weight. In the... <laughs> <laughs> Where do you buy wax? Liquid. Where From a candle-making shop. From a candle well, I've never shop. seen any candle-making no, shop. Neither had I. Neither had I. And I live oh, I half I've a seen mile one. There's it. one just down the road, just near the butchers and the bakers. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen one of those. That's the candlestick maker. <laughs> this is Aubrey. We were once threatened with eviction after we stole and fried our housemate's socks. What? Let's describe the crisis of the next day. The mother's there, she's coming to the house, she's yeah, seen so we've the come... charred socks in the frying pan. Yes. What happens next? So we've, uh, we've come back late on New Year's Eve, mm. now New Year's Day, it's like four in the morning, so I was still asleep, and it was Aubrey that got the grief mm. off the mother. Right. What was she so cross about? What, what was she so you... cross about? We fried her daughter's underwear. What that, do you think? That's uh, well, not socks, underwear. Socks. socks is not underwear. They are where I wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, come on. <laughs> so the mother uh, gets cross with Aubrey yeah. and says, What? She went, God, hi, Katie, how are you? <laughs> She's coming. And then she comes and she goes, Ah, screw it. Who's done that with me daughter? Who's done that with me daughter? <laughs> Sucks. I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> Oi, you, Aubrey, get yourself down here. <laughs> so Aubrey comes down. Uh, one just down. What is that in the kitchen? She went, ah, straight, mate. Who would fry a girl's socks? <laughs> and then he said, look, we were a bit... And she went, don't you... And she went crazy at him. She absolutely went crazy. She said, I'm going to report you to the owner of the house, she said, and I'm going to have you evicted. Were you evicted? Did you have to leave We it? weren't evicted. We were threatened with eviction. Yeah. I think the landlord did then have a word. Aubrey was very much seen as the leader of the two of us. Right. He would, he's the kind of person, I mean, look at the different statures of the two of us. He can hold himself. Boy, can he hold himself. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're told not to smile! <laughs> this is Benji. He's helping me to fulfil my recurring dream which is to do the splits. Right. What angle have you got to so far? Um, what, what, right leg or left leg? <laughs> <laughs> to produce an angle, you need both legs. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that's my chatter line. <laughs>
<laughs> I was sacked from my job in a call centre for repeatedly using different accents on the phone. <laughs> hey there, hello, hi. Oh, I wasn't expecting you expected to speak to an American. No, I know. It's, just, it's exciting. We just, I just came over here and I got myself a job. That's very good. Oh, That's were very you good. working nine to five, by the chance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a, that was pretty good. That that's, was pretty good. That's uh, I'd say that's a Texas type good, of accent. Good there. Southern Bell accent. Southern Bell, like Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. A plus on that one. I would. I would. Say, yeah. I would say yeah. Definitely A plus. Yeah. Worked in. Do you remember the predecessor to Iceland, which was B Jam? Yeah. My supervisor was called John Frost. Frost. B Jam. <laughs> you can see why B Jam didn't last because people will go. Why don't they just call it Honey? <laughs> <laughs> After a mix-up on the telephone, I accidentally went on holiday with the wrong girl. The reason you were calling was to say, come on holiday with me. Well, it was more specific than that, actually. It was to say, would you like to come and spend three or four days with me the weekend after next in Monte Carlo? Oh, wow. wow. wow this is an amazing... Yeah, I hope it's true. true. The Monte Carlo rings true for someone like that. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Well, look at his yeah. jacket. I would have it... said Butlins. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, how do you know Ian? This is Ian. He is my supermarket delivery driver who accidentally got... I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know this is absolutely true. <laughs> right? But they do insist that we say it exactly the way it happened. So exactly here we happened. go. Right. Um, this is David. No, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, uh, perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Ian. Never met him. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ian. No, I... <laughs> Lee. This is Ian. This is Ian. Listen, I think it's fair to say the opposition have got it down to 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Lee, how do you know Ian? This is Ian. <laughs> 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 Ian, give me a favour, could you tell her take that to your face? <laughs> right. That was more questions weird. than answers. Yeah, yeah, a lot more questions. I'm probably not going to ask them until much later. Yeah. But, hey, uh, two thumbs up yeah. automatically. This is awesome. There's a lot. That's so, a lot. There's not a lot to say about I, it. I want to know how much is, is left unwatched at yeah. this point. From Lee Mack and yeah. David Mitchell, but, I mean, we still have more to cover. We haven't even gotten to Rob Bryden no. yet. And, uh, a couple of the comedians, which I'm sure y'all have already put in the comment section already. Yes. We'll get to them. You know we will. Yes. And you know what I lie to you as a stable of the channel. Of course. Of course. Anyway, thank you all. Great 5,000 subscribers. What? We're 15K away from 100. This is crazy. Crazy. Thank y'all so much for all that. Absolutely. Liking, sharing with your friends, all the other stuff. Yep. I forget right now since it's been so long. Yeah. Uh, the problem is my hair is down. That's why I don't remember it this all. This is true. But this is true. Anyway, y'all, wash your hands, grab your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. See y'all next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Do this.